It's Wednesday. Welcome back to our WrestleMania recap. And uh, we are nice. going to be going straight WrestleMania preview today, everybody. <laughs> so get ready for the best. Of I can't wait. The is, be- is the Crutch Girl going to be in it? Yeah, the best, yes. of, the best of Hulk Hogan will be the talked about Crutch today. Girl. How are you, Roxy? Nice to see you with your beads. Thank you so much. You look great. Check out them as a little, present. You do look like a hippie. I like it. Yeah. Back to your roots. Like Everybody it. in the comments now. She's high. She's high. She's so stoned. Yeah, who cares about the comments? I'm talking about the comments in a little bit. Jesus. Um, so, someone else returning here today. Welcome back, Mark Riley. Oh. How are you? Nice you always do, always do it. You always do it. You fall for it every time. Yeah. And Josh McCooks. Hey, buds. How are you? I'm I good. like that hat you? on you. I think so. Yeah. It, was, it was raining today, and I got a jacket last week that doesn't have a hood, but the jacket's waterproof. So I wore that jacket, because the one that I have a hood is just like I'm wearing a t-shirt. Right. It's the worst jacket of all time. I'm just soaking wet. Oh, well, nice and it's to ready. see you again. Yeah. And you, what's that? Are, you, are you rapping today? What's that? You going to rap? Uh, yeah. yeah. No, I'm one chain. you one chain? <laughs> yeah. Did you hear your Fingy and the Bingy song? Uh, yes, yes. Did you like yeah, it? Yeah, oh yeah. Brett yeah. Sheridan's I, back. I managed to get a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Clarification question, because I wasn't here for the initial thing in the bingy. That yeah. is a finger in your butt. Yeah, okay. Yeah. In, in, <laughs> it, but in regards to... No, it's a like Bing Crosby DVD. Yeah. Getting your prostate exam. Yeah. That's what we were talking about. Like, is that oh, what it was? Yeah, we were talking oh, maybe about I was being 40 here and like, oh, uh, yeah. you know, and you, I, I, you got to get a finger in the bingy. Right. And yeah. I don't know if that was what it was. Was it? That's, I thought it was it like was, you, you on like a date or something. No, no. Oh. Yeah, well, come on. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get to go on dates. <laughs> no one used to oh, you on mean, dates. Yeah. The, the prostate day. exam you're awake for, which is the worst. The colonoscopy, you're not. So it's not a big deal. Right. Yeah. So you don't know if yeah. you get the finger. Yeah. You just yeah. wake up with a weird walk. You get more than a finger in the bingy for that Yeah, I don't get that. You guys are wimps. What? Just a bunch of wimps. Oh, I get sick to my stomach when I have to do a Preparation H suppository. Oh, God. <laughs> you, know, you don't want that. Mm. Um, Everybody does. Yeah, those, you right? take one <laughs> fingy yeah, in yeah. the bingy. One of the bings Come and on. the fings. All Come right, on. listen. Listen, lots to talk about today. Some trailers. Uh, a lot of things. That, something that happened that I didn't even know it was happening, which was, which was mm. that this Pete Davidson, Kate Beckinsale. Oh, I, I brought oh, you it didn't to know? attention yesterday. Holy yeah, that's been out there. This kid has <laughs> got to be hung like a rhinoceros. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's all I got. Because, I mean, how do, how, do, how, do you, how, how does that happen? It's, when I brought it to your attention yesterday, it was sort of like the year that my dad told me I was getting a snowboard for Christmas, and I woke up and there was no snowboard. And I was just like, what? <laughs> yeah. I thought you told me I was. <laughs> yeah. This is brutal. Like, I showed it to you yesterday, and you were just like, no! No, 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 no. That's, that's not true. I, what? That, that, I wasn't. I wasn't saying no. Oh, God. I, the confusion. I was the confused. Whole thing. Yeah. I think I, I have nothing against Pete Davidson. I think Pete Davidson is is a is a funny dude. Is he coming on our show? Yeah, I, I, he might. I don't know. There's no. But he'll, he'll be here in five minutes. No, no, that's <laughs> not what I'm saying. I, to him, to what he says, even on look, he got Ariana Grande. Uh, he, sure. He, Ariana Grande. He got her proposed and, to her in like he, a day. But he said, uh, he's like, he's like, look, I'm not gonna pretend I'm not a good looking guy. He said that himself, right? Kate Beckinsale is also one of the most gorgeous women ever. Besides that, she's like 40? Yeah. Um, interesting. Plus, I think. Uh, no judgment here. Just, no. Uh, it's just a shocker. Serendipity is just. I feel so differently. Love that movie. You don't think it's a shocker? Not really. Really? Not really. Uh, first of all, I think he's very attractive. Okay. Because um, he's funny. No, I, I yes, he's very funny. But you think his face is funny? Yeah, no. I, I mean, you think his face is not funny. You think his face I is don't attractive. think his face is funny. I think he's attractive. Okay, okay I see. Second of all, obviously, I'm sure you guys know a little bit about his history, but yes. he's uh, lived a lot of life, yes. and I think is probably mature uh, and has a different kind of air to him. Um, and I also, I have a lot of mutual friends with him. I hear that he's a really really down to earth cool guy obviously has that comedian thing in him sorry yeah. but that that makes him sometimes say offhanded things or yeah, whatnot yeah, yeah. but in general here he's a cool dude and she's I don't think she's like trying to wed him right now no look, she, she look thinks that. he's fun she thinks he's cute and she then, wants to suck his face she sucks his face that's yeah. in, in public in just public suck, look, and again, she could uh, get literally any that's, guy she wants that's, that's where I'm saying I'm like if you if it was a betting guy and be like, okay look you've got here are the 10 people <laughs> that you're gonna see Kate Beckinsale make out with in a Knicks game uh, next to the guy from Queer Eye who's so uncomfortable right. yeah, Pete, it's amazing Pete Davidson would not be on my list yeah yes. you know and if you put him on the list I would put him at about 100 to 1 but uh-huh. that's that, that's always that comment has always given women not a lot of credit, like that they're all about looks and that he, you know, I mean, you got a hot guy that's a total, you know, 
tool, yeah. you know, versus a you know a guy that you don't consider that good looking, who's funny and it's nice. I, mean, I know the whatever. hot guy tool comment. Yeah. I get it all the fucking time. Yeah, right. Like a I always deal. get the he must have a huge dick comment <laughs> when people see my wife. <laughs> <laughs> um, our our wives had a conversation no. that night. I came to the gallery because we were talking about like everybody on our shows thinks that we kicked over like out kicked our coverage, which is true. But both of our wives were like what? Like we married ugly guys? Yeah. And Brett and I were like, well, sort of. Yeah. All three of us. <laughs> Just like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's part. It's, it's it, almost like it's about more than looks. <laughs> I, unbelievable. But look, I, I I I was absolutely not upset when I looked at it. I was just I just. Was I said that I wouldn't have picked that. Yeah. I just wouldn't have picked. Good I, for just, him. Yeah. I just slow clapped him. Yeah, yeah, man, he deserves a slow clap and and good for good her. For She's him. having fun. Good They're both her. having fun. Yeah, Confu- yeah. just fun. Fun. confusing. I think is the word because I just would have never seen that no. coming. Because you never. Well, who who has she dated before? What's her dating? She was history? married to Len Wise. Michael Sheen. Or? She was with for a while. Like you know, those are like both those guys are like established. And Michael Sheen's like a, a you know an established like Englishman. Yeah, he's like he's he's one of those guys. He just seems very. And then uh, Len Wise. I mean, he played uh, Frost. Yeah, in Frost Nixon. Yeah. I mean, it, and and he was Masters of Sex, which is a very like proper role where he was like teaching yeah. sex, but as this proper. Englishman. Yeah, he, just, he put he just sh- what it shows is that Kate Beckinsale likes everybody. Sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't have a type. No, yeah. she Len Wiseman. I'm kind of like that too, though. Yeah, yeah, no type. No, yeah. it's no just type. It's just what, what individuals and how you're feeling that yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. I get it. Uh, look no, again, no judgment. And speaking of no judgment. I was in that Facebook group yesterday. Uh, a lot of you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call you out in that Facebook group. Uh, hypocrisy. It's my, it's my fault. It's, it, it is. It's it really fault. isn't your fault though, because you and I have had a conversation about, about it, and we were, and and yesterday you were, in a, you were in a shitty mood. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's hypocrisy, because I'll tell you right now, um, I, it's like if if Cody and Copser were hosting the show, and if, if you listen to the Wangers, they would break into a Pokemon conversation, right? And there's a ton of Pokemon. Boom! Thank you. There are a ton of Pokemon fans, and maybe new ones that would find them. Um, and if those Pokemon, fa- and if there was somebody on the show that didn't want to do it and started yelling at them about not having, uh, about you know, not wanting to talk about it, and then the fan base said, "Oh, why do we have Pokemon fans here? Stop talking about Pokemon!" When you do a show five days a week, guess what, motherfuckers? I like talking about wrestling, and I will when I want to because that's what's going to happen. Uh, so if you don't want to watch it, there, there are there are actual time codes Alex? inside of it. So you can click upon it because it is, you are a hypocrite. And I'll tell you why. Because it's the same people that that go and they say, and I forgot this message many times. And I saw somebody who made a comment against some of the wrestling fans yesterday who sent me a message that, that, uh, like, months ago. Thank you for being having Collider Live. It's a, it's a place to escape because a lot of times I can't talk about movies and I can't talk about movies or, or any of this geek stuff at high school and I, and I feel I feel like I'm I'm out of the like people don't want I'm not accepted but when I listen to you guys I'm I I feel accepted and that same person was saying why are you talking about wrestling how do you think that wrestling fan feels how do you think that wrestling fan who who, who like there's there are clips that we put on the channel there are clips that we put on the channel that by the way they do very well. The Ronda Rousey one we did to close to like 60 or 70,000 views. And those are new people who find the show. And the new wrestling fan who says, oh, these, th- these are, this is a wrestling, a wrestling friendly show. I'm going to go and I'm going to listen to these guys and I'll listen to what else they're talking about. And then you get a bunch of dicks in the Facebook group who are telling them, oh, why are you watching this stuff? Why are you watching uh, uh, Captain Marvel? Why are you watching Anime. Shazam? Yeah. Why are you watching uh, any of the stuff you're watching? You're being a dick. You are being a straight up dick about don't talk about wrestling. Fast forward it because there are people who like it. There are people like myself. I don't watch it every week, honestly. I, I, I watch clips. I watch that clip of the thing, and, and Satin has built his business on it. Uh, Roka likes it. Ken Napsock likes it. There are people who like it. So you know, shame on you guys because it's 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 it. You can you some can of fast that does it. fall on me though because I have created an environment where it's easy for me to like rattle off that I hate wrestling, right? And a lot of those people, because I am a member of this crew and I have made that something that is my vocal thing, but you shouldn't attack other people for watching it. And I attacked you yesterday. What I'm attacking is the actual product that I don't like. But that doesn't mean that when if we throw it on in the future that I won't, I won't be a part of the show. I will make my wisecracks about it. Right. And you're, un- I mean, I will never watch wrestling. That's just me. No, I said to but, him beforehand, yes. I, said, I said, there is no world that I think that, because he had said to me yesterday, he said, why are you pushing wrestling on me? And I, said, and I told him, I said, there is no world where I think you are going to become a wrestling fan. Sure. Can I cut in for a second, yeah. though? 
Muku, you did call the fan base garbage. He was people. Mad, he was in, he was in a mad he was in a he was a pissed uh, off no, he was in a I, pissed off. I, I, no, I know. I want to give you a, ago, I want to yeah. give you a chance to address that because you're yeah. saying I'm attacking the product. I'm attacking. What he was I just think. saying they're shitty people. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, did you? Was no, that coming out of you? We gotta be specific no. here. Yeah. <laughs> I what? So I can't. I, that may have blurted out of my mouth okay. because that was my was thoughts. And towards Ryan Satin, and yeah. he got upset, and so I apologize. <laughs> yes, it's a certain joke. But what I'm saying is that what I look at as wrestling, to me, is in fact garbage. Okay, so I don't like wrestling. It's that, the same way me, that you'd watch a shitty show. Is correct. It, is yeah. a like, show? That's garbage. Right. Like, like the some, Ranch some, on Netflix. Right. That is okay. trash. That's right. So really? yeah, he does. Yes, bummer. that he, is a so terrible, terrible. There are certain cops, shows, right? But, you know, you like that movie, and every other people thinks it's garbage. But there's every another. Right. But there's another show. There are shows that you like that you like that I probably think are right. garbage. So we're on the same. Correct. So we're on the same page here. So everybody's going to be allowed to talk about whatever the hell they want to. But the thing, the whole point is that there's also something to me. Like I said, I used to write for the WWE. I'm also I also run a, a movie trivia league that takes a lot of WWE influences, mm -hmm. and I am fascinated by the business, and I am fascinated by the way that they market, and I and I and I want to talk about that. And that's the other thing I said to Makuga. Makuga also has a very good brain when it comes to marketing. When it comes to, and I said I would love for you to look at it that way because I want to have your input on that. Type oh, of stuff. believe you me, I am so intrigued by the fact that he's been able to build a brand of something that is fake. Right to me, it is fake. Right to a lot of other people, it is not. No, it is a drama. Well, that's it's, a drama right. it's a drama. It's a drama television show that they consistently. You see watch. it as a fake sport, as opposed Listen, to where other people watch it as a television show. My mother has watched soap operas for fifty right. years. Do I think that's garbage? Absolutely. <laughs> it is daily trash of of just God, over like melodramatic stuff. And I look at soap operas not the same you. way. It's not for me. Right. Now, do I think that the genius behind the WWE is something to behold? Absolutely. What they've done with their pay-per-view, what they've done with the brand, how they've been able to monopolize and cannibalize every single brand that has even come close to them is very impressive as and, far as a business and model. And because of that, that's why, because the AEW, where Dusty Rhodes' kid is now putting on this new product that's going to be more like they're leaning more into the sport, and when that launches, I'm going to be talking about that a lot. Sorry, because I want to find out if the WWE is going to have that competition that they had when the WCW was around, that's very fascinating to me because I want to see how Vince handles it. I want to see the war that happens. I'm curious about that. So like I said, there will be time codes. And if you don't want to watch live, then don't deal with it. But how dare you guys in that Facebook group? How dare you guys to where you're – the hypocrisy of it. The hypocrisy of it to where just because you don't like it. But then other, it was, there was a great meme, by the way. Uh, they showed like uh, wrestling fan uh, and the non-wrestling fan wrestling. And then they showed the Bachelor fan – sipping in the back like <laughs> drinking like, because no one's talking about that we talk about Bachelor sometimes and during, sure. same thing with Doreen and Doreen like, tunes out of it and then we talk about it you can tune out that's fine but we're not going to stop talking about shit because you don't want us to that's, two things yeah. number one can I pick something yeah I want to talk about Big Brother when it comes back on and, in the summer and you should and guess what sure. guess what nobody never, else watches right. it and so I'm it's never going to watch that room. show yeah. Yeah. it's going to be a tough room I'm pitching it now okay. I'm gearing you guys up to it but that's the thing if you find something Big on, Brother. but if you see something on Big Brother that you can I want to show you guys you're like, I got to talk about it by the way and Ryan Satin told me the other day he's like hey there's a show on what's it called like Paradise Island or something I don't, oh what, yeah people are it came from England people, so people are, are going talking nuts about it he's like I don't know if anyone who watches that show but you guys should talk about it and I'm like, what's it called? That's not it. It's, it's Temptation Island. Temptation is Island is? Oh, or something, yeah. something like that. But anyway, On Hulu. I if think you see was... something that you want to talk about, that you, like Big Brother, something crazy happened, tell us the story because to me, it's yeah. it's human interaction. Because I did watch. I, I, I bring I up home. Jeopardy all the time. Nobody in here watches Jeopardy. No, but it's but it's it's a matter of True. what what interests you. And and so when by the way, I did watch because I had seen everybody saying the same thing you said about the Bachelor that episode, how great it was, right? And my wife was like, it was the best. My wife had no interest in watching the season because yeah. she thought he was going to be boring. She's like, he's my favorite of all time because okay. he's so honest. And I watched the scene because I didn't watch the whole episode. I right. watched the scene then I went up going down a rabbit hole and watched Did that you watch Women Tell shaking? All. Oh, I, saw, I, saw, I watched oh, the Women man. Tell All yeah, too. That's good. Good. It, um, Crazy. He already picked yeah. somebody? No, 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 no. no, 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 no they yet. tell all before he picks. They tell, yeah, they have they all do the women tell come all in before the final episode, and then they do Whoa. after. And then they That's do an after. That's different from what I watched. Oh, and then they do it after the rose. After the final rose. Yeah. Oh after yeah. The oh, rose. There's two. oh, 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 there's two. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. they just there's some of the drama, and you, you can see all. Basically, what they do now on that show is they tell you everybody that's going to be on uh, Bachelor Paradise. They set you up. They don't. You can tell who's going to be from the way that they're maneuvering it around. Demi, definitely. I mean, come 100%. on. They even, he even said Duh. it last night. Yes. He goes, we're feeling like we're going to yeah. see a lot more of you. Yeah. Uh, the, the, I know who's going to be the new Bachelorette. You yeah, know, Tana B. 
That's the, yeah. That's the one that Ashley and I talked about. Which is crazy. She's so lovable. She's so Wait. funny. She's so quirky. She's so like forgivable. She's awesome. That's the one. She's that's one of the pageant ones, right? Yes, correct. So you you think she's likable? Oh, she's great. Not Kaylin. No, I know. I didn't like either H- one. Hannah which one B. smiles too much? Hannah All B. of them. Hannah yeah, B. Hannah B. Yeah. No, come on. She's, she's gonna great. Be the best, I'm telling you, I'm, she's I'm gonna be you. great. I, don't, I, don't like I just her. killed your cat. <laughs> First, we don't smile enough. Then we smile too much. No, there's a there's a moment where you need to just. Dial it back for Christ's yeah, sake! She, Come she, on, she uh-huh. was, it was like awkward. It was like yeah, it's just, she, I didn't like, like her at all. She I'm was the one I'm saying had the bad skin. Me, me and what's that? She was the one that had the bad skin. Uh, I don't know about that. I'm telling you, go back and watch. Okay. Right. Uh, no, I'll, I'll just say this. I'll Ash, do it. I, I was I texting. <laughs> I wanted to talk to Jared and Ashley I about it. And Ashley I said exactly what I thought. She, Ashley I was like, I love Hannah yeah. B. She had some screen Ashley time last I, night. Yeah. See that hurt? Oh, did yeah. You, so they showed they showed Ashley the Ashley I did? Yeah, From so the they, past yeah, they show they show the, the biggest yeah, the biggest breakups of all time. Yeah. And she was on one of them and she just was like sobbing. She, like, she does not stop crying. She's no. a good crier. She's a good I will crier. say that girl has grown on me. Ashley I? I really like her. Yeah, yeah. The, I I've known her for a few years now because she used to did come on. Did you not on, like her the first time? Well, she used to come on TV fights. It's not that I didn't like her it's that she obviously was a little more like uh, reserved around people yeah. I'm sure she had just come off the show people were coming at her all angles she didn't know what people wanted right. and she was the crier all of the time and on TV fights I brought her on against Jared and Jared on air was like she said she thought she should be the next bachelorette and he said absolutely never you would never make it you don't shut up you don't stop crying you're not that cute I like, remember he, he didn't say you're not that no, cute no cool oh okay cute. oh I thought you said that's the you're not that cool okay. he, he like I know. Reamed, so that's a he like reamed her right um, but it's a fight obviously right. he was throwing things out there and she just started bawling <laughs> on during, air during TV I terrible. will say that if I said that to Amanda I don't care where it is yeah. there's no way we're married no yeah. chance you, the forgiveness of both he's of them is with. He, she's sitting next to her sister her sister's like don't say that about my sister, it was a whole was a thing, thing. Yeah. and so that was the first interaction I had with her. So obviously, it was like right off a of bachelor. I was like, Who's, who yeah. is this girl? Well, it's yeah. funny with both of them, both Ashley and Jared, because Jared is second. He, see, that, that's the thing is those people, the the the, the contestants, in general, they have shelf life, and sure. they don't realize it. And yeah. I've been around all of them; they have a shelf life, and they think that 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 fame is going to last forever. Ashley and Jared were very smart. They so smart. They they went. Into, Jared is a movie fan, as we know. He he made his. He, he could hold his shit, whether it's on Movie Talk or the Schmodown or here. And even he got props from Harrison that he yeah. can host. Ashley I started hosting podcasts and making herself known on on, on different. Like, there was another girl, this girl, Kelty. Kelty, I think, is another one who I thought you know her. But she Kelty was on The Bachelor and she's like a big Kelty. interviewer now. Yeah. So, like, you got, if you I do. I know Kerpa. Kerpa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know Kelty. The, the fact that, again, last night on the tell out, they did not even reference her chin band. Right! Oh, right! One time. They, they, show, they showed it. They <laughs> no! showed it. They what showed, are you talking no, no, about? No, no, no. There's, there's a behind the scenes. Oh. I've seen what happened to her. Okay. So, that's yeah, that's been can, haunting me every yeah. night. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Why didn't we talk about Garbage Chin yeah. Band-Aid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so one episode, she shows up clean face. The next like two and a half episodes, she's got this giant Band-Aid <laughs> on her chin, and nobody says a no. word about it. I'm texting with Tim Geddes, because he's my only other friend yeah. that watches Bachelor, right? And the whole show, we're just like, somebody reference the Band-Aid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody and, say and, something. And because they, they said that, they, there's it's it's on the internet. You, you can, can find can, that one. I don't want to. Just real quick. Can you pull up a Picture of the Kerpa oh, okay. chin band aid. We need right. 20 minutes. I don't want this clip. The clip is too long. She's like, she's in the hospital. No, no, no. Hey, that's Just, the show. If it's 20 minutes about Kerpa's band aid, <laughs> you guys can't complain about that. Cody, K E R P A. Band aid. Where is she? Where's that name from? Kurt? I think band? she might be Indian. Band aid, like huh. a band aid. Like band aid. Up chin, top, you got it. Up top, up top. All right, fine. Do that. It's fine. Uh, why? Who cares? I don't want to watch the video. Don't just. I just want to see a picture. Just an image, guys. Um. Just go to yeah. Google Images. There you, there you go. go. Yeah. Okay. All right. So show the bandaid. That, that top oh, one. Oh, right she's there. not hiding that bandaid. It's like no, a big no, no, no. It was everywhere. She, but they no, didn't. They, they never referenced. Why, uh, but you she's but you, stunning. But, but you know what? No, yeah. she's not. She's okay. Yeah. Are you guys crazy? She, she's. I don't find her attractive. But he, the, her, what? her personality. If Kerpus Jin has a Twitter, that's amazing. Yeah. But the thing is, is they they reference it on a behind the scenes thing, but they never even reference yeah. it on the show. I, well, I found it on the. Oh, yeah, for sure. It is out there somewhere. But but anyway, is the, this how guys do, like do it? What you sit there, you're like, no, not cute. Oh, and basket. girls don't do it. Yeah, 100 percent we do. Okay, um, <laughs> so uh, uh, basket. She, she okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> she's like, she, she did start out. To be fair, Sorry. she did start out. She goes, is this how you guys do it? And girls. 
don't. <laughs> Sorry, I jumped down your throat. Totally, do. we totally do. But okay. I just yes. can't picture because in my mind, like growing up with my brother and listening to him and his guy friends, it was always just like hot was hot. Like, oh, she's hot, she's hot. She Depends. bang her, yeah, but, and but, they did on the binary scale. Did you guys yeah. do that? Uh, I invented the binary oh. scale. I did it in my state, and it got like to Massachusetts. Wow, nice yes. job. Yeah. Um, but what I will say, the, re the other reason why they didn't show the chin thing from yeah. because she's boring. Because she's, she's a boring. boring. She's oh a boring my God, person. She's so boring. And it's like she's got no character. She, had, she, has, she had one she angle. Was a, she was an angry How did she make teacher. it so long? Uh, I, I don't know. Producer picks probably. Yeah. Sometimes sometimes people can just stick around. Like, like whoever's less boring. They tell Colton you have to keep this person. It's not sometimes. always. It's not you have to. A the, little the, nudge. It's nudge. It's like hey, just if you can keep uh, so and so just for a little longer. If you, you can like, keep do, the do crazy think... broad for a couple more yeah. times. But, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Is that and how no. Corinne made it so far? I watched oh, yeah. that season. Yeah. Sure. But what they'll say is something along the lines like you know let's say let's say you're the Bachelorette. Right? Thank you. And then this lunatic is still it. around. And it's like you're like I'm 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 your producer and I'm gonna say to you. Uh, how are you feeling about Brett? And, you know, I don't know if it's there. Do you think that it ever could be? I don't know. Why don't you just give it one more week and see? Could you do that? And maybe get rid of, of Riley because yeah. he's boring. I'm and basically the wobble. I love how guy. you pointed yeah. to me. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Thank and, you for and that. Then, and then you go, okay, fine. And then you get rid of Riley and you keep around Brett for another week. Yeah. We get we, Then the producers now will push him, make sure we get the best out of him. Okay. Have you had sure. enough of him? Yeah, I've had enough. All right. I'm it. not making it to hometowns. No. <laughs> no. Like there was a, there was a, on a tell all. show. On the tele last night, you an, I got him an audition. Yeah, really? Yeah, it was pretty funny. I mean, Back I, in the day, I, like, the I went day. to like four auditions. I know I they liked like, you. Why yeah, didn't you get on the show? Uh, it, 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 I don't. It, I think he was too normal. I, I think one, I was too normal, and two, I was like already in the public eye, and they didn't want as much public eye thing. That's what maybe, the one guy told me. Maybe so. Uh, who was it? Who, you talked to Bennett. Bennett. Bennett loved you. Yeah. Bennett loved you. Bennett yeah. Was Bennett's like one of the big producers too. I, really I uh, auditioned and went on callbacks for the real world back in the uh, day, no, but I, I was still that. under 21, and they had a problem for that season with that. Yeah, I can't remember the name of the show, but it was guys had to wear a mask the whole time. I was in like the final rounds for that when I was engaged the with my wife. Singer? Yeah, no, no, it was oh. like a, it was a dating show where guys. Oh, all wore um, beauty, uh, uh, Swan, du the, the duck, swan? ugly duck, different no, no. one. No, it was just no, the guys all had surgery. masks on. He, she never got to see who it was, and I was like, at one point, I'm like. Ah, I don't think I'm like going any further. With that. I'm engaged to be married right now. And that was it. See, good move. Yeah. Smart. Who knows? Maybe you could have been a millionaire. Maybe blew it. <laughs> <laughs> we all remember the show so well. So yeah, probably. I know. It was would a big you, one. Would you legit want to be on that show? Because uh, I could definitely get. I might uh, still be able to get thing, to an audition. Though, I would never say I love you. I would never fall for somebody, and that's just like it's a month. I can't tell you. Could you see yourself I falling for somebody? Uh, listen to me. I'm wrong. I, I can't tell you how many people said that. And really? I'll tell you, yeah, because here's here's the reason why it happens. It's it's about two months. Almost three. Another reason why is that the, the this credit that I give these people is that when you go when you start dating someone, right? You, it, you know, you maybe st when you start, you're dating this person, you'll just make arrangements to maybe see once a week, maybe a new person, mm -hmm. and then it starts to go, and the the dates start to become a little bit more from from movies and dinner to like that's the month, the two three months, then you start doing more f things, learning more about this is like. At 150 miles an hour, so you're spending so much time with them throughout the month, right? You're you're going through, you're going to exotic locations. You're you're taking, it's not that you should fall in love, but the magic becomes distorted. You become distorted, and you, it's it happens to everyone. Like you get caught under the spell. Some of these people have actually have actually lasted. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 How, was Ryan. your second date yeah, well, with anybody that, in yeah. Thailand? You know, I mean, right, it was right, like, right, on. right. Yeah, it was and like, I don't know. I just too. feel like. I would rather go on a competition show. I, th uh, I well, guess that is, is a competition, it but is. like, yeah. but, like but a God big forbid brother. you say that because I see you can't say when that girl that 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 pageant of Caitlyn, she's full of shit. And uh, here's the the funny thing is I, what I love about the tell all is they introduce like some of the girls that were eliminated in the first night. You're like, huh? Who? And that one girl Jane kept interjecting. You're like, Jane, you were not on yeah. the show. My favorite comment was that one woman who says to the other one, she's like, oh, didn't you get eliminated night one? And then she just shut up. <laughs> yeah, that right. was great. All right, let's move on. No, let's keep going. You want to keep talking? About uh, okay, good. Uh, how was how was uh, New Orleans? It was amazing. What'd you do? Best you looked, you Is this back to back happy. years? What's that? Back to back. Back, years. To back. This is well, first year by myself. Second year with my wife, and then we realized people bring kids and, and stuff. And kids. it was amazing. They they my my kids took to it. My daughter was wearing like a unicorn onesie one day, a panda onesie, beads galore. My my son got real competitive about it. Like he got these big boys. These are like the 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 ones you want right here. Yeah, the big. Yeah. How did now, he, what did he do? You just you just point at people and you yell. If you cute kids and and you right. know. 
Yeah, because yeah, once once you hit like twenty, you got to do different things. I'm a glass yeah. beads kind of guy. Yeah. You know, these mm. are nobody was like flashing people in front of that's, your son. That's no. This is this is the, that's Mardi Gras. Two this, different things. I, yeah. You're uptown. Yeah, I went. Yeah, no, you you no, were no. Bourbon Street. I did both. Yeah, I, there was no flashing at okay. any parade I went to that was on the main, like you know St. Charles and stuff like yeah. that. You know, I mean, we went to two, three parades a day, and it was it was exhausting. It was fun, and uh, you know, my head, kids had a great time. Yeah. Did you see the blind refs one? Oh yeah, there's tons of blind refs. Yeah, that's good. You know, uh, uh, yeah. yellow flags being thrown, a lot of throws like well, because, that. Because I'll tell you, in college, did you go to Mardi Gras during college? No, I mean I've been to New Orleans a bunch of times. I've never been to Mardi Gras. I went to Mardi Gras three times with like yeah. Caligula. Oh, yeah. uh, it was it was it was you you went to be. Tommy Heaton, right? Yeah. You know, you, yes. you, you, you were, you went to. Did you see my Instagram story picture I posted? No. Of me in 2010 yeah, at Mardi Gras? It was pretty funny. What'd you do? And she just looks hammered. I, I'm just hammered. D- Lights on, nobody home, yeah. but like ev- <laughs> every day. And yeah. like, do you guys do I tons of being drunk <laughs> on a mountain okay. yeah. in a hot tub? What is that from? <laughs> that's me. I, that's talking about me, right? I, I love. love I'm, I'm, that is being true, though. Drunk I do on a mountain, mountain yeah. in a mountain. Yeah. Yeah. It's my in favorite thing. Me it's too. one of my favorite yeah. things. Because I don't go skiing, so yeah. I stay. What were you about to when ask? did I say that? I don't know. What were you about to ask? Oh, is that from this show? Um, I don't know what I. <laughs> you were saying. Um, yeah, oh, just, oh, did you guys ever do um, whippets? Yeah. I mean, ever? Yeah, sure, of course. At Mardi Gras. Do you remember? I don't know about Mardi Gras, but I remember that, Skippy Simon. I think Simon. that's that. Is what Sk- that picture com- was. Yeah. I met him one time. Skippy Simon used to do whippets on stage at the comedy store <laughs> oh, and on Room 5. And was, I'm going to call uh, myself they, out. What the hell are whippets? Okay, no, you're not calling yourself out, and that makes you the smartest person in the yeah, room. Okay. Yes, no. By far. Yeah, the brain cells just go quick. Do they really? leak out of Is your it ear like, holes. It's nitri- it's, it's nitrous. nitrous. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, you ch- and your lips you, turn blue. And when you, and you do it, you sound like this. <laughs> yeah, it was coming out of that the, a Grateful Dead show. That? And it's... a guy's there, he's like, ducks down, grabs three of them, does one, he goes, Becca, call an Uber. <laughs> Becca! <laughs> What? What is it? Let like, me just so tell you. Just you feel like. Like. For like 30 yeah. seconds, the world's gone. It's, you're just it's what they planet. give you for getting oh, your teeth done. That. It's nitrous no. oxide. Hold no, on. not now. Let me just, I, and, and, real quick. <laughs> yes. If you could make that last longer, it would be the greatest drug of all time. Yeah. Nitrous, I'm telling you, <laughs> it's, the 30 seconds, it's awesome. But it, it also hysterical. crushes it's every brain every cell. Brain yeah. cell <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if you want it to last longer. No. You, 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 no. it, I'm just saying, if it didn't kill everything in your brain, yeah, right. it would be a great yeah, drug. Yeah, watch what you're promoting. <laughs> it's, 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 like, <laughs> it's, like, it's like you're literally that. And you'd probably feel the same way if you're like walking on Mars. Yes. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. it's the same thing. But that picture oh. that I post is right after a couple different weapons. That's why it came up. Yeah, don't do them often. Yeah, just to, just to clarify, I wasn't doing whippets and uh, <laughs> and, 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 yeah. No, no, I, there of was course no, not. My s- kids said nary a titty <laughs> on this trip. Uh, you know. Nary a titty. <laughs> but if they did, it. it would be if I had these boobs. beans. Nary a titty? Yeah, they didn't it see one. There no, was no one. No, not not huh. a one. No boobs. Yeah. I didn't even see any boobs. Yeah. Um, Not even your it wife? Was a, it was a very crowded yeah. house. Yeah. Um, <laughs> those houses are so old, and you can hear a yeah. mouse fart in them. <laughs> there wasn't a lot of, there wasn't any Were you bur- staying at your brother's? Uh, yeah, yeah. My brother lives right off one of the parade routes. It's really nice, and uh, yeah, we, we we don't have to venture off too far. We have a place to okay. pee, which is very important. Are we doing a Collider Live get, uh, trip to Mardi Gras? I, uh, we could totally do it. That mm. would be amazing. Yeah, yeah. Crazy. My, yeah uh, if you get caught, you like you peeing, peeing in the street. You can you can throw your beer on the ground, pissing in the street. You're going to jail, dude. The you, New you, Orleans cops are no joke. Yeah, no joke. Yeah. I will tell you when I many times in, when I went to Mardi Gras, I saw cops. Just wreck people yeah. because people would get fights in the street. They, they got three punches and maybe until they there was just like flies on. Shit, on and guess what? You get Darn. put in jail on a Tuesday oh. the first week. You're not getting out till Wednesday or no, Thursday. No, no. They don't start you know Process. processing no, no, no. that until the end. You're you, done. You yeah. you want to? Yeah it, yeah, it is no joke in, in, on in the streets. Of and uh, half yeah. the fights are over hoots. He stole my parade. Yeah, you know, it's yeah. people like yeah. setting up. They set up at six a.m. their little spots out in front of the parade route, yeah. and for a parade that starts at five, and they'll mm-hmm. just sit there and hang out. And I remember, it. yeah, those beads. It's currency. It's currency yeah. there because, and people are doing crazy. Like, I was twenty-one years old, or maybe no, I was twenty. It was twenty when I went, and I had beads like that. And because people people get mad at you if you give them away for because people are doing outrageous shit yes. on the streets, yeah. like, like like outrageous, like, yes. like 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 you said. 
You pee on the streets, you're going yeah. to jail. But there's other things that yeah. you do in the street. That oh, but you don't show weens in... either, though. They don't want to see weens. No, <laughs> no, that's, it, but it, it, it's. You, I saw a lot of stuff happening on, on Mardi Gras. I'll tell you that. But the point is, people were like, you, they watch as the big beads are being given, and they go, "Well, what are you going to give away for those? Yeah. Like, those are big ones." I remember I saw to this day um, one of the hottest women I've ever seen in my life when I went there. Had beads like that, and and she said, "What do you want for those beads?" And I was like, "I'll just kiss you, right?" And for people are like, "What for a kiss beads?" And I go, "Do you see this woman?" <laughs> and it, it was it's it, people are it is it, there's probably a lot of germs being sure. spread yeah, a yeah. lot, but I'm telling you, it is crazy. Yeah, now. these are the booby beads. These if you go to but bourbon, you said your son got those. No, he got no, them but, on but a he, float. But he's saying if he if he had those for currency, that's that's what then those you are. Go it's to, you it's take nuts. these and then you go like I did a balcony once with my brother, and it it, it was all right. Getting to the balcony was a nightmare, and it's it's not necessarily the boobs you want to see sometimes. No, <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's, it's not everybody. Yeah. It literally is everybody. <laughs> Kate Beckinsale would have a blast. Yeah, she'd, she'd find a lot fantastic. of different people there. Yeah. Um. Anyway, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm glad you had a good time. <laughs> I'm glad you had a good time. No, it's good. Oh, it's good. we should all go back. I know. I, I, I would next love to. Year. We need to start taking shows. People ask, or asking me um, if we can do a Collider live tour, and I really would love to. Oh, yeah. what a great idea. <laughs> we thought about it way before you brought it up. But it just can't happen. I mean, you got to get it. What we need to do is Why? get on getting a, a, a like an Airbnb or some yeah. sort of a thing that we can all. It, it'd be fun if we all lived in it, or were, you know, I would go stay with Something my brother. Like you knuckleheads. Cause because I don't, I, Brett, I, we can't I get you I don't to run that L.A. Yeah. What's How that? are we going to get you somewhere else? Yeah. So yeah, I, I'll explain that too. I, you know, I what? just I work at a place where there's I'm the only person that does certain things. No, I'm not upset about so. it. I'm just saying it's, it, if we can't get you here, how are we going to get you in New Orleans? Right. Like, I, I just, just I just went. went. You just went. <laughs> I'm very. Conf- I'm confused by your confusion. <laughs> uh, well, we're gonna be. Listen, You're confused. We're look. We're gonna. There's a lot of things that we are gonna do. Like I said, in uh, March 23rd. Look, LA is getting there. LA is getting there. 300 tickets so far. Now, 300 tickets. Uh, free for all. March. I'm 23rd. still not impressed. Not, with LA. Yeah, I'm not with impressed us, with that. But here's the thing, though. This Let's is one thing more. I also Tell me where sure I'm not that. impressed with is Seattle, March 14th. Sell those tickets. Mark Ellis Live, Ken Knapsack, myself, 9 p.m. Columbia yeah. City Theater, MarkEllisLive.com. Nice But plug. the March 23rd, though, what I will tell you is that what who I am impressed with, and this is not fair because we, because we take, we've been taking our steps. Come on, LA, what's happening? What's happening? We haven't given credit to the 300 people who have gotten tickets. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I do give they're them true. credit. Like, like the 300 people that that were excited that are coming and they're going to be there. And someone else wrote me too. He's like, hey man, like I'm a I live in LA and I'm going to be there. I'll probably just buy them on the day of. Yeah. And I'm like, you should be on the He's like, oh, I just got to see. It's how LA is. And I'm not worried totally. about it anymore. It's that's, like, that's the most LA thing it, I've ever it's heard. It's the most LA thing yeah, ever. So it really is. You know, so we're going to be March 23rd, 40 competitors comp- all going for a shot at any title. Go there, downtown LA, 2 p.m. PST. And then, to thank you, two other events that we have going on. April 13th, we're all going to be at Star Wars Celebration, but April 13th on Saturday night, you're going to have two matches, two big matches. Alex Damon will defend his Star Wars championship, and then we can now say that Mark Riley and Ben Bateman will be competing mm. against the odd couple, Jeff Snyder and Mark Andrigo, and Migs, Miss Migs, Miss Roxy Stryer will be there in come? Chicago. You are going to come for this yeah. one, too. Yeah, and Roxy. So, so this is the first time that you're going to be competing against Riley. Yeah. How are you feeling about that? I, I, we kick his ass. Oh, I like that. Oh, please, I Roxy. Wait a second. Roxy's competing? Have you She's seen managing. what we've done? No, oh, okay. I was going to say, I was going to fly off the handle. No, no, no. You refuse you... to compete against me, and if I found out you... No, no, no. She's a man. She's a man. <laughs> I'm so excited you, about this. Do you this. think Snyder and Andrigo can can take them out? Yeah, I do. I really wow. do. Honestly, I think yeah. that um, as long as I'm there, which I am now, yeah. keeping them in check, uh, I think won't be too hard. They're really good. Yeah. Well, I like, gotta, they're I, dirty. And I got to ask you, because we talked about this too, it is, this is like Ben Bateman now yeah. competing. Yeah. And Great. you know how bad he wants a title, how bad he wants it. I know. I and hope we t- kill it. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I, he, I won't say that he doesn't deserve a title. He works his butt off for it, and I, I think Riley's great too. You guys know that, but it's my team, and yeah. they're they're so good, and they so want this, and I, and I think for me too, they want it. Like it would be nice to kick Ben in the nuts a little bit. Yeah, Riley. Yeah, yeah. be up there and like metaphorically or physically kick him in the nuts. <laughs> well, well, Riley, do you think you've played some good teams? Mm-hmm. Is this your toughest team? I mean, the Shire Wolves. Yeah. 
I, Travis is probably the toughest. And but you can't, you know, and Draco and Snyder <laughs> are, are dangerous. But uh, tell Snyder to brush up on some seventies trivia, would you? Oh, Ooh. all right. Well, yeah. that's, that happens April thirteenth. You can get <laughs> look, and there aren't that one though. The Chicago one is almost gone. Uh, is it really? Yeah, that's the, the only live one that I will be at in the next couple months. It's too, 700, so. 700 Not that seats. Not anybody cares. I'm just, no, but you'll be there. Yeah. Seven hundred seats already gone. Yeah. Uh, there's really only I think like twenty or thirty seats left. So okay. you can go and see that one. And then finally, Houston in Booker T's actual wrestling arena. Uh, the Booker T has been so gracious, and we are going to be at his arena on May 18th, where Andrew Guy will play Bateman. I'm going to announce the undercard very soon. I have a couple things uh, working for that, but May 18th already. Hundred tickets sold for that one. And that's that's a couple months away, but May eighteenth. It's a good birthday party there. It's going to be that's good. My yeah, birthday will be it's there. Be as so well much too. fun. Riley will be there Can to support. Um, we'll we'll talk about it. We'll see okay. how you do. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that if Guy beats Bateman, he'll cry. If Bateman loses, I, I think Bateman will just cry. It'll be it'll be the end of a singles career. Yeah, I mean that will, he'll he'll cry. His singles cry. career will be in really bad bad shape if he loses the guy. Yeah, yeah. but at the same time, I mean, guy's guy, done. Mm-hmm. Oh no, I'm not saying it's impossible. Yeah. I'm just saying that it's a, it's a it would be a big loss. I'm rooting for him so hard. Guy? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh yeah. You want guy to be Bateman? Oh my God. Are you oh, kidding? Wow. wow. Oh. Why is that? Uh, because uh, first of all, I love Guy. And yeah. for anybody who doesn't know this, he's uh, we. I love him. Yeah. Like I, he's a killer. You, you think he's the best heel of all? I time. think he is the best heel of all time. Yeah. And storyline wise, as a fan of this league, yeah. I just think that if Guy can defeat Bateman, oh my God! Yeah. I mean, Str- that's epic. Stranger things have happened. That's <laughs> epic. Yeah. yeah. Ask, I have. Ask, ask Riley or ask mm-hmm. Dan. I kind of so. wish they'd both just go away. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, listen. Um, let's let's get into some let's greatest get into heel some. of all time. Clearly, you've never seen an episode of Sex in the City, Roxy. Uh. Uh. Like the oh, shoes. Boy. I'm fucking with you, Jesus. I love that show. All right, yeah. I've seen it. all the episodes. Where's <laughs> <laughs> oh, that? Um, Cody Hall. Yep. <laughs> where where uh, where did you get that Roxy clip from? Uh, that was courtesy of Mr. Alex here. He found that one the other day and uh, put it on my computer. Alex, where did you find that? Where'd you find uh, it, Alex? They were, that was when... Uh, Talking to the mic, Alex. That was Thank when you. Uh, you, Christian, were off uh, for the first hour. And, there, oh, okay. and then Josh and Roxy were talking about See, being on you. mountains. Oh, uh-huh. hot tub, nothing better hot than tub. being in a hot tub on a mountain drunk. Okay. I love being drunk on a mountain <laughs> okay. in yeah. a hot tub. Have you been drunk on a mountain in a hot tub? I love oh, yeah. being <laughs> oh, yeah. drunk. It was yeah. in New Orleans. <laughs> no. Well, <laughs> okay, so... the mountain. So I don't, I don't ski or snowboard. <laughs> right. At all, uh, because of a bajillion reasons, but mostly because everybody gets hurt and I don't feel like it. Mm. So all of my friends growing up in New England obviously skied and snowboard every freaking weekend. They go to Vermont, they go do the whole thing, whatever the other places are. And so I would just go and sit by myself drunk in a hot tub right. all the time. And when when my sister got to high school, I would start pulling her out of school and take her with me, which was very adult <laughs> of me. Work. On a mountain? Um, yeah. But because I was like officially the her female guardian at that point, so I would take her and be bad, like, "Bad choice of guardian." <laughs> yeah, she did. She did okay though. Yeah. But I, all the time, she'd Were be like, "Giving her whippets." She'd be yeah, like right. fifteen, and we'd be like sitting drunk in a hot tub, yeah. and everybody it would yeah, be skiing. And I'd be like, "This is a smart move." Yeah, so you do whippets on a mountain, you think you could fly yeah, off the damn uh-huh. thing? Yeah, let's not do that. But alone, the lone part is key. Or you said you love being. Drunk. No, you gotta have a being alone, alone in a hot tub. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, What's you, you want to being alone. Play it again. Play it again. Oh, it's, it's, I love so. being drunk on a mountain okay. yeah. in a hot tub. Oh, I touch it alone. I, I, I do. I also do like being alone in a hot tub. Mm-hmm. I, uh, yeah. I don't think there's anything sure, why not? Oh, I can't. That. No, I'll have like I'll have a whiskey. It's cold out. You don't want to be drunk alone. I'm though. reading yeah, a that's, book. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. It's a little scary. It's a little you know to be drunk alone. Well, he'd be in a hot tub. He'd falling asleep. That's a scary uh, thing. I'm not. I'm not hammered. I'm having. I'm oh, just, oh, I, lo- well, I, like I gotta get turn, the clarification. You turn into a, like a monster. There, like I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm, here's the thing. <laughs> Rossi's feisty. She just, just like got it. back. She's already feisty with She's me. Feisty with we can't even there. get you here. 
Yeah. I don't know. I feel like you took what I said earlier about coming to New Orleans as an insult, and now we've got a weird vibe. Oh going man, on. I'm out. Oh, man, you day know three I'm of done. Roxy done. insults. Yeah. Yeah. It's Roxy insults week I here guess. on Can't win. Mountain. Okay. I guess not. Man, I get really. I really guess not. And yeah. like somehow I'm kind of the bad guy in all of these situations. Oh, I don't it think seems. that's true anymore. I, I've seen you turned it around. <laughs> yeah, I did. Like Roman Reigns did, Josh McCougar. Totally. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> I love Roman Reigns. <laughs> you do. Let me let me tell you. There are certain storylines with Roman. Reigns, yeah, like the time he wore the tighter shorts, and then right. the one time he had his hair all done up, Riley. You know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, I know. He actually did the other day. But speaking and he of jump which, kicked that girl with the crutch. Can you, how many wrestlers can you name? Current like wrestlers. Current wrestlers. Let's see how many you can get. Oh Nine? God. Is Stone Cold still in that? No. Mm. I want to see how many you can get. Is CM Punk still in it? No. No. But are you being serious or no? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Let's see who you get. Think about what we talked okay, about. Okay, so recently. yesterday I've got Charlotte Flair. There you go. That's, uh-huh. girl, that's, that's one. Mm-hmm. And, Who's her dad? Uh, the nature boy, Ric Flair. Yeah, Listen. but he doesn't count. Yeah, no, he I doesn't count. I just want to know if yes, he knew. Yes, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so Charlotte Fair. Well, there was a 30 Flair. for 30 on ESPN, so he, know, he would know by default. Okay, so yeah. Ronda, Ronda Rousey. There you go. And um, oh, farts. You get, you're, you're, your head's we just got, named. We just named one. You, mean, you were just making uh, a lot of Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. But there okay. was, but Becky Lynch. Lynch. Oh, Becky. You're not in this game. No, I, I, I want to be in this game because I'm like with him. I'm like, what? Yeah, is he, he named a male? Yes, he did. You know no. what's funny? Roman I was thinking Reigns. that because oh, yeah. it's oh, like Roman I feel like I could name more female wrestlers. Yeah. Now, like, no, we'd be based on what we talked about. Okay, there was this really hot girl that used to wear a Target bikini on Instagram that I used to follow, named Erica Marie. She was in here. Na- Natalie she, Eva Marie? There you she go. She was in here. Okay. Weren't you, weren't you here? <laughs> when we were, she was in here. We, we oh, had her no, on the show. I Don't ding here. that. He called her Erica. Oh. She has three names, and none of them are Erica. No, right. That's true. <laughs> Kathy Jesse Kelly? The body's been Kathy sure. Kelly's a, uh, yeah, she has, okay. she's a, she's a, an Kathy interviewer. Yeah. Uh, she's in the WWE. Inter- uh, she's in yeah. the WWE. Vince McMahon? Not a wrestler. You, can you name any other McMahons? Yes. Brandon McMahon? (laughs) (laughs) Maybe. Yeah. That's his brother. Wait, 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 wait. I got one. 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 Um, Dean Ambrose. Were you going to say say Dean Ambrose? No, no, no. Yeah, how do you know? (laughs) He runs in real quick. Oh. The Flash. John Cena. Is he still wrestle? Here and there. Oh, sh. So I know John Cena. Recently. There's someone else that you're missing that actually is back and is a big Booker T. He does not. He hasn't wrestled in ten years. Um, there Merv is, there, Griffin. There is a wrestler. Who's, who's the fast person here? <laughs> yeah, but there is a wrestler though. Jake that, the Snake. Jake the Snake is Aww. seventy years old. Uh, <laughs> but there, there is a guy. There is a guy <laughs> that is a big movie star. That is actually back for WrestleMania. To fight. Stephen Amell. The no, Rock. No, no, but no. Uh, but think you're the in, superhero. In, I think yeah, you just said it. You're in the. You're the in Rock. The, no. No. You're in. You're in the the lane. Zach Levi. Zach Levi. <laughs> so take, in the, you're you in that lane. Superhero. You're in that lane. Pa- take, take Henry the, Cavill. No, take the MCU exit. Henry Cavill. Doctor Strange. Benedict Cumberbatch was an actual wrestler. His name wrestler. starts and ends with the first he's two an, letters of the alphabet. Wrestler. He's a wrestler. M- Eminem? No. As, Eminem is not a wrestler. These, look, you this can is, never give her shit ever again. I, I grew up uh, Eminem. I said, I, I said the, the person was a wrestler. Eminem yes. is a wrestler? I don't know. He got beefed up when he was hanging out with Obi Trice. Hey, Andy <laughs> Kaufman did it. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Eminem. That was so good. Man, that was so good. Batista. Oh, Batista. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, come done. on. I was going to get there. Roxy was I done. Was totally there. She tapped I won out. Ju- Juan Baptiste. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 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 so I couldn't. I couldn't. Hey, you're done. <laughs> I was so close to getting Baptista. Baptista. <laughs> uh, yeah, but he was. Uh, anyway, he's back. He's gonna, be, he's gonna be fighting Triple H. Eminem. Is he still wrestling? He, 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 he out loud said Eminem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, there could have been like he said Zach Levi. I love that you said <laughs> out loud. He said. <laughs> well, we all have things that cross our mind, but you know. <laughs> he said ends and ends with the same letter. No, I said starts and ends with the first two letters of the alphabet. Oh, okay, Jesus. Batista. <laughs> it starts and ends with four letters into the H of the Q. Give me a. Bit. And a and B. Yeah. The B word. and A. You were like, starts Batista. and ends. I could have gone Albert Badumadu. There are consonant and vowels in this word. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, that was good. That was good. Oh. M and M, M's in the same you're, letter. You're making fun of me right now. Do we know what time? Ha- you said M and M. You okay. did that. Back when he was rapping with Obi <laughs> Trice and D12, M and M got jacked up. But, okay? two but he could girls. have, in like a Raw in Detroit, been like, let's bring out M and M. He's like, no spaghetti on his shirt. Wrestle. And then he's out. <laughs> It's no mom's spaghetti. spaghetti. It's it. not no spaghetti. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, Christ right. almighty. I say Eminem one time about wrestling, uh, and I start hearing about it since. That was good. Uh, that was really good. Uh, okay, cool. Lena Cue the memes. <laughs> what's, uh, what's going on in the oh, news? Uh oh, Paige. She was in here. Yeah, yeah but she's retired. But uh, yeah. Well, yeah. screw them up. She, she, I'll almost count that one, though. Almost. She's, she's only yeah, going to retire for like a she's month. She's relevant. Because, or, or six months because of her injury. Got it, got it, got it. Got uh, it. By the way, yes. that is a movie that I really think that you should watch. Uh, I know you want to see it. I know you do. Here's uh, the thing. All those like wrestling documentaries, all the movies about, like The Wrestler, all the movies about wrestling that are scripted with a story, I live for it. Yeah. And I know and I, I just think... basically just described the WWE. Scripted with the story. <laughs> yeah, I, I get know. it. But you know what I mean. No, it's 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 just this thing, and it's again, it's, it's you and Ellis have the same thing. It's just this thing to where for some reason, and a lot of people feel this way. And a lot of the stupid comments I saw in the Facebook group was that that people look at it as a fake sport. It's a television show. If you look at it, still look at it as a fake sport. Look at it as a television show. And I think you see it. You would see it a lot differently. But a lot of people just can't do it. So whatever. All right, what's going on with uh, with movies? Uh, and tomorrow is finally getting a fucking sequel. <laughs> yes. Did you hear this, Riley? Uh, that that will always be good news. Did yeah. you get a no polish manicure yesterday? Because your nails are looking shiny and short. Oh. New. Oh. No, I don't. Brett, do that. you're hiding your nails. There's do that. nothing. I'm, oh, I, I, I'm, I'm, you I'm call me at this. Yeah. yeah. It, I saw some, another thing. I, I didn't shower for a week. Yeah. I mean, I'm. Oh, <laughs> oh when you're in, yeah, is when you're true? in New Orleans. Yeah, I saw somebody yesterday say, My wife finally made will me. You, will you please, will you and McCougar please stop picking on Riley with his nails? Never. No. Never. No, never. never. Ever. It's fine, guys. Never. Yeah. There will never be a day yeah. when Learn. I don't criticize yeah. him right. and or Ellis about their nails or anybody for no. that matter. No. I don't care if I just met you on the street. Cut your nails. nails. Yeah, it's, no, yeah, cut your nails. And that, and that was the, it's just, yeah. Sleep in the hallway. Cut your nails. That's Jesus. <laughs> now I know. <laughs> That's a pretty good sound. Uh, and I, it's, it, it worked out. Yeah. Yeah. It was a good sound bite. What's next, Louis? Uh, so we have the new Brightburn trailer, the movie that comes mm. out on May 24th. Okay, we'll talk about And it's that. a little bit like Man of Steel. Just a little bit. I, with so, a you, horror element. You had told me about this movie when I the first it. trailer hit in December. Mm -hmm. um, I wasn't planning on watching that trailer, but then when we asked Alex to show today's trailer, he showed us both trailers. So right. thank you for that, Alex. Um, but hey, Alex. Not, not on purpose. I think he did it uh, not on purpose. I think no. you're right. Yeah, he's, well, the best was when he, after you said like Alex, we needed today's, and he went to highlight this is the date, and he was highlighting yeah, December. December. 8th. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what year are we in? But the the trailer <laughs> it is it is direct it is produced by James Gunn. Dave uh, Yarovsky. I always get his name wrong. Batista. Dave Batista. Yep. Yes. And then then. Dave Yarovsky. <laughs> David Yarovsky. Former yeah. WWE yeah. champion. Oh, Dave Yarovsky. Nice. Um, not true. So um, yeah. Marshall Mathers. But the trailer looks cool. Uh, I Gold still, dust. He's he may, maybe he pops up for a Royal Rumble, but he's retired. Big Show. Uh, uh, retired. Uh, Shawn Michaels shows up sometimes. Retired. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Sorry, buddy. Yeah. Anyway, so the Muscles move, McGee <laughs> won the Intercontinental <laughs> Title last night. Wow, I missed that. Yeah. Crazy. Bright Burn. The trailer. Mm. Um, oh. The one thing that I, I really dug the trailer. I think it looked, it's a perfect mix of of the Superman lore meets a uh, horror film. Mm. I still don't understand how they're allowed to do this. <laughs> No, because legally. It, well, what couldn't you get sued? What could they actually get sued for? I, I, they're yeah. not calling him Superman. Yeah, right. you're right. There's that horror yeah, they, element. Like, if is, there's, there's a, a symbol twist? in there, no. It, he's wearing you know? red and blue. I mean, it's it's small. I mean, it's the same story. I, mean, I but totally feel the same way you feel, but I'm a, no, thinking about think technically should. what could they... Yeah, you're right. They it's, can't. I, I don't think they can. No, it's, I think it's it like falls Armageddon and Deep Impact, right? It's right. kind of it's kind of like something like that, but it's just it's it's crazy. Let me. But what they could do is not work with Gunn. Mm -hmm. oh. Because he's producing this, right? Uh, right. right. So, I, I mean, they obviously aren't too pissed. No, that's yeah. true, right? Because Warner Brothers, right? Yeah. Well, and right. Warner Brothers is really playing up the James Gunn angle. I mean, it's yeah. like from the visionary director of Guardians of the Galaxy, James Gunn. Was well, he direct? Is, is Warner Brothers? Is Warner Brothers Brightburn? Yeah. Oh. And Suicide Squad. So, so no, I'm not saying that they're no, Warner no, no, Brothers. Sony. I'm saying Sony. that he's oh, Sony, right sorry, now yeah. attached to Suicide Squad. Um, so, no, I know what you're saying, oh. but I thought he because yeah, because no, if, I, it was, if it was Warner Brothers, I was doing no, the movie. Yeah, that makes sense. No, so, well, yeah. that's right. Because everybody, the first trailer, everybody looked even down to the font. They're it's like, this is jump. Man of Steel. You know, it, yeah, it yeah. sounds like it. It looks like it. I have a question. Okay, one. I mean, these, there's not supposed to. Yeah, there's not. These aren't supposed to be jokes. Do you think that the common audience would be like, oh, this movie's about Breitbart? Like this is like it. It has that kind of title. Like, what is Brightburn? Well, every right. time I go to type Brightburn as the hashtag, Brightbart mm -hmm. comes up. Yeah. yeah. Second. Click so bang. I don't think that that's a crazy thought. Did anybody just get like a younger version of Chronicle from this? Like it kind of looked mm -hmm. Chronicle. Yeah. It's a Chronicle fear. Yeah. Right. A chronicle fear. yeah. Right. I mean, it's it, different because 
the 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 bit for Chron Chronicle was the reality, not the, the, found, the, the footage. found footage, yes. which they did it so brilliantly because every every found footage movie at that point was horror, mm -hmm. everything. So it was like so when they switched it to superhero, it was it was a, a, a kind of a welcomed change. For sure. I see what you're saying. It's just kind of a smaller idea of the, of how the superhero origin, but I just I like the idea to where they throw it in your face that it's a Superman. Like, what if Superman was bad? I mean, they even say it in the first trailer. It's like, what if the you know the, yeah. the, the gift? Whatever they say, they, there's a couple different things that they say that is ripped off exactly from Superman. Like, you are like this thing they say in uh, Donner. You're here you for are a here reason. for a reason, mm -hmm. and. Like I'm very curious about this movie. Mm -hmm. Absolutely yeah. on purpose. How are they gonna beat him? Doing? How are they gonna beat this kid? But How if it wasn't if it wasn't uh, this close, then I wouldn't be curious. So it's smart on their yeah. on their part. Here's what I hope they don't do. I, I really hope there's not some kind of meteor that they're not gonna call kryptonite, of course. <laughs> but that is going to be Ship you know right. and use it to kill him. Like and the, then use it to kill him. I, I hope yeah. that there's something else. It has to be more uh, hands-on, practical. Yeah. yeah. Elizabeth Banks pulls him world. in at the end of the movie and just goes, Martha. And he, That's he yeah. comes who's, nice. got, who's got a better yeah. chance of being redeemed? This kid or Kylo Ren? <laughs> 100% Kylo Ren. 100% Kylo Ren. Unfortunately, I think you're right. Well, yeah. you, are you, not, you don't think he's going to be redeemed? I think he will be, and yeah. I hate it. Yeah, me I too. I hate it. I yeah. think it's the laziest decision of all time. I want him to, I want him to go out a villain. Yeah. Just so it's, just it's the, tra the tragedy of yeah. the Skywalkers. It's they, basically just the first three again. That's they, right. they do it that way. It's just like because they, yeah. they already showed I love you. It. Uh, it's just. It, but I'm more casual but, fan than yeah, you. Yeah, but it's However, the second we, one. But it's, it's. But the thing is, the second one he had his chance. First of all, I didn't think he was going to be rede redeemable because he killed Han Solo. But then they started the way that they started to do it. I'm like, all right, if they do this with Snoke. We'll see what happens, and then he, he again does it's like, no, and now he's gonna do it for. Uh, but how about for a third time? Oh, he's redeemed. He is redeemed. I got to see how they do it. I'm gonna reserve judgment, but I do want him because I think for him to say I'm called by the light, called by the light, and for him to fail completely and continue to be in the dark side right. and die going out with the dark side, mm -hmm. that just seems more interesting to yeah. me. Who is your? Uh, no, in, in Force Awakens. Force Awakens. Also, if you don't want to talk about this, you no, can. I, okay. I'm, I'm, yeah, you asked. So, hey, like, is it this soon? is a place for talking about what other people want to talk <laughs> right, right. about. Yeah, Don't not a lot of people Wars. like Star Wars, so yeah, we're going to alienate those people. Kind of a... But no, they, 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 the Undertaker. He's gone. Damn. He comes back. He comes back sometime. Okay. Um, the, the, but like, what year are you living in? Right. No, but he's, he's he's going back into his like he remembers going to bars yeah, and looking yeah, yeah. up and when wrestling was popular. Cowboy and Bob Orton, Adrian Adonis. That's the 80s. I mean, that's, 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 missed both of them. There was a cloned hand. Uh, there was a hand that was floating around in in space in one of the. There was it was rumored that this was opening hand that, that you were going to see Luke's hand going through space, and then that was going to be the opening of Force Awakens, and they scrapped it, and it was it was supposed to happen, and there was something along the lines with that it's hand kind of a with cool the, idea. with the saber. I think I this is this movie episode nine is J J Abrams' direct sequel to episode seven. Um, there nine? there's. Yes, mm -hmm. episode nine. So he is going to, uh, I think that he's going to take a lot of those things that he wanted to do in seven and complete it into nine. And I think that that cloning stuff is going to turn back into Ray somehow. So do you think that he wishes that what happened in eight didn't happen where we address the parents? Yeah, and you can't say that, though, because everyone's like, he's, he's publicly said that he's very happy with, with the changes that are Ryan right, Johnson. Right, I'm just asking you as a played. massive no, fan, do you think? No, I don't think he likes anything that, J, that that Ryan Johnson did, and I think that he's going, I think you're going to see it. I think that there'll be things that he does inside of it. I think it's going to be complete fan service in a good way. I like the word fan service sometimes. Um, I think it's going to be a complete... Uh, what he wanted to do with his movie, and I think that's what he's going to do. Um, but you'll never hear him say, "I didn't like anything that Ryan Johnson did." And, and the way that he d does this, his next movie will be okay. Well, he kind of retconned it, but didn't. I think you're going to yeah. see things yeah. like that. So, so what? So uh, who do you think that the parents are, though? So you think off. that Luke is the uncle? No, I don't think Luke's an uncle. I think there's going to be. Some, I, I've been screaming from the hills that I think Palpatine's going to come back, and that'll play in somehow or another. But we'll, okay. we'll, we'll see. Okay. We'll see. I saw him on a parade float. So Palpatine? Yeah, maybe. Would you say? Yeah. Mm, spoiler <laughs> alert. It was Palpatine? Palpatine? Yeah. What, Ian McDermott? There was a, there was a whole Star Wars theme. There was a bunch of. But wait, but but it was oh, just a character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, oh, okay. no. <laughs> okay. Um, it was <laughs> actually him. I know. Uh, All right, listen. So what did everyone else think? They about aren't actual people. people. <laughs> 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 what did everyone else think about that trailer, the Brightburn trailer? You're not going to see it. No. 
unless we make you. Sure. Really, that's too scary. That's not more adventure than. Man. It doesn't seem Crazy like. Yeah, that's some horror. That's some serious horror going really? on in that thing. Yeah. Is, is ET horror? No, no. Okay. ET is like the most horrifying e. alien horror? story. Right. Yeah. Um, don't call it's him scary at points. I was scared when I was a kid, but then when he starts eating okay. Reese's pieces, I'm like, he's a good guy. See, right. I, thought you, I thought you were more, more ghostly, ghoulsy kind of thing. Everything. This one doesn't seem so. It's creepy. He doesn't yeah. like creepy. No. He doesn't like creepy. This, no, this seems seems really action. creepy. Yeah. 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 Yeah, like like that. I enjoyed A Quiet yes. Place because I thought it was very a very well done movie. But did it scare what? me? <laughs> Absolutely. Right. I was kind of surprised with award season that A Quiet Place wasn't getting more buzz. It's too early. So early. Yes, yeah, I know. So but early. that movie was. People need to rewatch it. That yeah, movie was movie. so good. It's very hard to. I, well, I think Get Out came out fairly early last year too. But but that movie's so good. Also, it is. It's just it's just tough because you get that just. Rush of movies that are in consideration from like October until December, and it's like bum 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 bum. Mm-hmm. And these other movies that come out in like March or April are just like, hey, remember us? It's it's really it's really tough. Yeah. Uh, look, we're gonna go to break. When we get back from break, we're gonna talk with Christopher Nolan. There's some details on his latest film, at least what it might be, and we'll talk about that and some other things. Make sure that you tweet in hashtag Glide Alive. Get your uh, comments in that Facebook group, and we'll take some phone calls. Mick Foley. Long time ago, return. Mm-hmm. Ah. Hey, Collider fans, John Roca here. Look that behind me. There it is, Collider Sports. That's right, that is happening. We've got some great programming on there already. For those of you that have already watched, thanks so much. we got so much coming down the pike. We're talking about NFL. We're going to talk about NBA. There's plans about NHL. Golf is in the equation now. And, of course, the Premier League show with that I host oh, with Jack show. Hine. That's been in motion for the last couple of weeks. And then an MMA show is on the Snow way from want. Dennis Zhang, me, and Jay Williams. All those things are happening here at Collider. And, look, we want to hear from you, so we want you to listen. We want you to watch if you're a sports fan. Even if you're not a sports fan, we might entertain you, teach you something new about a sport that you may not have known much about or maybe t- so deep into it that you wanted to learn even more about it. We've got you covered. You can do that. Follow us on iTunes and on YouTube. You can there watch all the shows uh, or listen to all the shows that you want and then leave us comments okay. and rate uh, the shows as well and review them and then let us know what other sports you want us to cover. Look, we're not touching rugby. I'll just tell you that right no, now. Been- That's as far out as we'll go, uh, Josh, or cricket. Josh. But uh, maybe in the future, if we go Collider Worldwide, that's certainly a possibility. But for right now, Collider Sports is there for you. Take a look at it, take a watch, <laughs> let us know what you think. Oh, hi guys. It's Perry here, and I am going to tell you about The Witching Hour. It is the show oh. that I host along with Collider.com's Haley Fouch. Okay. It is in podcast form on the Collider Factory feed, and we also have the Holy video shit. up and running every Tuesday for you right there on the Collider Podcast YouTube channel. We talk about everything horror. We're talking (laughs) TV, movies, the newest releases. We talk about movies that are celebrating anniversaries. We've even talked about books. It's crazy. (laughs) If it is scary, we are talking about it on The Witching Hour. We also have so many filmmaker interviews, really cool stuff. It's all coming your way every single Tuesday on The Witching Hour. Check it out. Collider Factory and the Collider Podcast YouTube channel. You better listen, Hello, Jack. Collider Live. My name is Amy Dallin. And I'm Corey Jondro, and we host a little show we love called Collider Heroes. And it is all of the things we love about movies, TV, comics themselves, all the breaking news, trailers, photos, but not paparazzi photos. <laughs> all of the superhero stuff we love, all of the indie comic stuff we love, all the stuff you had no idea was based on comics. 80 years of comic lore have led to this show and many years in film and TV, and we're living in a golden age of comics, and we want to share all of that zeal with Eighth. you folks. So we talk hey. about the stuff that's coming out. We talk hey. about what we hope is coming out. We do fantasy casting of things that should hey. exist. Why don't they exist? And hey. we do your Twitter questions asking Eight. directly to Eight. us what we think of certain things. And Eight. every single week, since we both actually love and read physical comics by in print, we have a comic pull list where our five biggest favorite books of the week come out, and we dive into those with you guys. You can buy digital. I'll forgive you. As long as wow. you're paying for your comics. It's all good. But if you buy in print, you can bag them and board them, and then they're worth more later, because comics are like certain things 
things from the 90s that are totally worth the value. Buy comics, <laughs> buy in print. Digital's never worth anything later. Buy in print, keep comic stores alive. Our, we can debate collector's items all day long. We can debate casting. We can debate movie, movie news. We can have all of our friends come join us as we frequently do. We can ask professionals Nine. about their work. We've had some Nine. amazing guests come by the show. Yep. We, try we can catch it every Wednesday. That are on these Sorry. properties that also love comics. Sorry. You hear what it's like from their perspective, from inside, Nine. from outside. And this is Nine. all with the focus of bringing all this news Nine. to you guys. And we're here every Nine. Wednesday on Collider. Nine. And we love this stuff. We want to share it with you guys. Nine. We'll see you then. Nine. Hey, guys. Riley here. And let me tell you about the Riley Roundtable. That's right. They gave Riley his own podcast. The Riley Roundtable is on its new home. Okay. It drops every Thursday. The Riley Roundtable is a little bit about everything. It's about movies and life. Life and movies and everything in between. I like to have on special guests for discussions like Justice League versus Batman v Superman. For discussions about wine tasting. For discussions about UFOs and everything in between. That's right. The Riley Roundtable drops on Thursdays on the one-on-one -on -one with Christian Harloff podcast feed and later on Collider Video's own podcast video network. So check it out every Thursday, the Riley Jesus. Roundtable. See you there. Hey, everyone. John Roca here, one of the hosts for Collider Sports Time. That's our new That's show there on the Collider deal. Sports Network. It's our flagship show, just like Collider Movie Talk. We get on, talk about a bunch of sports issues of the day and what is burning up social Jesus. media, what topics are burning up social media. Jesus. That's what we do on Collider Sports Time. I'm joined by my top 10 co-host, Matt Nost. Me and him, we welcome a bevy of guests every week to talk about NFL the Major League Baseball playoffs, NHL, and the NBA, which is starting up soon. We're going to talk about that. We also get into UFC stuff, college football, all the stuff that's happening in the world of sports. We're going to cover it on Collider Sports Time. And we're going to take the time to break it all down and give our opinions and our unique takes and unfiltered thoughts on what we think about the sports news of the day. So don't forget to join us every week on Monday for the Collider Sports Time show on the Collider Sports Network. And don't forget to subscribe on the Collider Sports Network on YouTube and on the Collider Sports Podcast feed. We're going to bring you all kinds of stuff. Hope to hear from you soon. Okay, so we are back. <laughs> And okay, so okay, okay, so we're back. No, I just checked. I'm just letting people know though too. That YouTube and Facebook is very different. YouTube, uh, I'm just letting you know because this is the same thing we did for Schmoville, and I can't remember who who brought it up last time. One of the great things about Schmoville was how peaceful it was and how the fans were really good to talk about. I'm just, I'm, I'm going in. I'm going to do a full sweep, and I'm just going to throw people out. I'm just. I, I, yeah. I went, well, I went through. I went through the, some of the comments, and it's like I was trying to have a message with people to, to be good humans and not to not. To, and certain people they got to be dicks again, and certain and, and saying things along the lines of, "Well, good. I'm, I'm just so glad that you have the time goes because I won't be watching that garbage you got. I'm throwing you out. I'm throwing. I'm I'm taking people by the pants and I'm throwing them out of the group. <laughs> so, so, the so, get, so get or ready. Whatever you're wearing. Get, get ready. As soon as it's done, I'm gonna have fun. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go throw people out. YouTube, have fun. It's a cesspool anyway. You can't deal with it. <laughs> so have fun and be and be as horrible as be you want. Let me, Did yeah. we open up with Inception or what was it? That was Inception. Yeah. Yeah. In the Good similar talk. vein. Yes. Nice job, Roxy. Thank if you. you if you I think they'll if, come back around. If you tweet at me that I'm an idiot for believing the the kids on the Michael Jackson documentary, you will get blocked. And I will report yeah. you. I, it's, it's one of those things. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of the. I'm tired of people. Done, saying, like, yeah, done it's done. Like, I haven't taken to Twitter about that yet, but I yeah. I will because yes. I think it's. I want to talk to you about it. I want to talk to you yeah. because you watched three hours. Of, oh, I'm just yeah. letting you know yeah. that the the store that you are in in Facebook, it is our store. So I'm going to toss yeah. you all out because I'm tired of all no of you. No shoes, no, no service. I'm just tired of it. It's like, it's like you, you don't. It's like you, there, there has to I'm be okay there has to be consequences sometimes for people. There has to I agree. be. I agree. And I'm just and I'm just I'm, I'm, sure I'm done with I, it. I agree, I'm th Christian. I'm throwing you all out. And, and here's you're the done. thing: we don't need the numbers I'm in Facebook. Do it right now it's as not you're talking, just about it's not just about having as many people as possible. It's about cultivating an environment that people want to be a part. Lovable, huggable, especially because we are in there every day. Like that's how I wake up. I look at the Clyde alive. Facebook now and I'm like oh do, 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 yeah. and I don't want to see that shit yeah. that's the community part of it that's yeah. the thing that should be the, the right. safe space and not the you will be the first ball one. bag okay. so <laughs> keep, what are you saying you will be the first one to, to be an example I'm throwing this person out yeah for, great alright throw him out All right, yeah. okay. just take over for a second okay so uh, did you want us to talk about Michael Jackson or did yeah you go ahead go? Okay. Talk, yeah. So, so I watched you, the, watched. you, wa you both watched all yeah. four hours have you seen anything Brett you've been in Mardi Gras I watched three hours so As I'm an hour into part two kids and I listen I have a niece and a nephew anybody that's a human being yeah 
with the, with as far as this child abuse of this yeah. whole situation, it is. I mean, sickening. I couldn't sleep last night. It's like two nights ago. Christian said to me yesterday, um, not not accusing me, but when I couldn't find the words, yeah. it's, w- if you're not watching, you're putting your head in the sand. Yes. And I know that we want to put our heads in the sand because don't get me wrong, I love his music. Sure. I love his music. Yeah. Uh, and creatively, he's brilliant. Yeah. But so I just didn't want to watch because I was grossed out. I just didn't want to watch. It's funny, though, you say that too because last night, I was telling because I told my wife last night that you know we had talked about it on the show and and she is also a massive fan. She's like, should we watch it? And I said, and I just quoted you. I said, I think we should watch it. I was like, it's but, a socially responsible thing to do. I know. I yeah. said, I think we should watch it. I, and I, but the thing was, she was putting my she was putting um, the, the, one of the kids to sleep and she comes out and I just started watching the, the beginning to see it and I'm like, you know what? I don't. I'm. I'm. It's not that I won't watch it. I'm not ready. Not last night. It was. No. It, yeah. it will. Not that it, this means anything compared yeah. to what's happened. But it did. It ruined my day. Yeah. It ruined my night. My day for sure. And I still have an hour left. I had to turn it off. Not because I didn't have enough time to watch, but because I was feeling like ill. Ill. Ill and I was like, there is. A you know, little, you will get to this, but there is a sort of redemption in the last hour. But there is real no redemption, and there's no like happy ending, like button to the documentary. There's no like the he's doing well now like neither one of these people doing is well. doing okay well, well, and you know there you are said, others I'm, because I'm, I am now where you were yesterday because yeah. I haven't seen three hours of this stuff um, now you, what you, the point that you made yesterday I thought very well was there is this other side and there's clearly a, a very big side that's still, and I got a big long message about it sure. yesterday, and I just ignored it because I, I I don't want I don't want to deal with with you anything. You also haven't uh, seen it yet. You're that's, not. That's you my point. Any, that's what I'm saying. I don't want to deal with it. There's nothing for you to address. I can't. I can't make you know, your people, opinion. People say, well, Makuga's wrong because I, I can't say what Makuga's wrong. I haven't seen anything. Right. So, but there's other people who are taking the other side. Um, can you see where they can still do that? What I, what I will say is that this documentary has a. a um, a point of view. Okay. So their, some, po- their point of view. Some documentaries don't have a point of view, yeah. and and they're trying to show you all cases. This documentary obviously does have a point of view, yeah. and that point of view happens to be um, what Makuga's side is, and what people believe to be right. true on that side that Michael Jack- Jackson had been molesting boys for years. Now, my wife had asked me last night. She said because the same thing that was addressed yesterday was that that what's what's just the one guy who who the career that um, Wade Robson. So Wade Robson had my wife had said, well, that's the guy that said that uh, he, he that it, during those trials that he didn't do anything to him. The family came true. out and said it. And he said, she said, well, why would they? Why, why now? Why are they trying to capitalize now? So it was a question my wife asked, shit, who hadn't right. seen it. Do you yeah. want me to address yes. that? Yeah, please. So a couple of different reasons. Number one, kind of like Josh was saying yesterday, he was scared. Scared to death. Scared to death. Um, number two, wh- wh- but that doesn't explain why he stood up for Michael Jackson right. and testified in those trials. Michael asked him to. Yeah. Michael asked him to. And, and he was still like in love with Michael and, Jackson. Yeah. And he, he said, Where was you know, the family he, in all this? He, and Michael also threatened. Wait till the last hour. Michael right. also said, You guys will go to jail too. Yeah. yeah. If you guys come clean because we're both doing something that the law looks at as wrong and you will spend the rest of your life in jail. Yeah. Uh, and he's a kid. Right. And it's and the second time, well, was it, and the, the second trials, time though, he was asked so to, the second time he was twenty one. You're right. He yeah. wasn't yeah. a kid anymore. Like that. That, yeah. By the time the trials came about, yeah. Um, and he tried to say no. Yeah, and Michael and Jackson said, "I will have, I, I will have you smeared. I will have my lawyers. I pay, I destroyed. pay for everything. And at this point, I'll he was choreographing life. Britney Spears and In Sync. Like his whole life would have been destroyed. He would have never had the opportunity to do what he was doing if he had come out and and spoken against Michael Jackson. He threatened his entire well being. So, so it's to answer your question about the other side. I'm going to do my due diligence and look into that as I watched well, as all of the videos that people sent me. I watched all of them. I've watched there everything so far. There isn't one thing in that video that proves different than what these families and yeah. these kids... I've watched everything so far also. I'm going to keep on watching things because I think it's our job to be informed. That being said, there is absolutely no way this didn't happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's absolutely no way. Am, I'm not saying that there isn't yeah. another side and I'm not saying that you can't talk about why this happened or maybe it didn't happen to all of the kids or maybe i don't know about the kids that didn't but to the two men that seemed, came forward it's, yeah. it's just absolutely and the no other way two men that came forward and went to trial and then michael jackson was acquitted those men deserve an apology from everybody yeah because 
And the one thing they talk about is Macaulay Culkin came out and he testified in court that Michael Jackson would never do that. Okay, maybe he didn't touch Macaulay Culkin because Macaulay Culkin was already a crazy star and his parents didn't let him spend the night yeah. at Michael Jackson's place because that's when it was happened. The parents no, Macaulay were like, Culkin spent the night many times. He, he, just, said, he, he said that. Yeah. He, uh, I think that probably, I don't know what happened to Macaulay Culkin. He might be telling the truth. He sure. might not be. Um, I I would like to say he is because I would think that after watching all of this to still say something didn't happen to you uh, would be. Is he in the doc? No, oh, okay. he is in the, he's, he's, quite he's a bit. not in an interview. He is in the doc. Um, you see footage of him right. from when but he went not, to trial. Not, but right. right. But also uh, but you I, see footage of I when think, he's doing a music. He's doing the black and white music video with Michael, and they invite the Australian kid who's in love with Michael Jackson, who's already been molested bunches of times. Get there, and he and Michael Jackson's ignoring the Australian kid to be with Macaulay, and him realizing that Macaulay's the new boy. I think that one of the ways. And th this is complete speculation, so take with this what you will. But one of the ways that you don't get caught is by diversifying. And you do that by not doing the same thing with everybody you're with so that there are people who genuinely can say, what are you guys talking about? He never touched me. Mm -hmm. um, and I, again, complete speculation. But yeah. if he was not touching Macaulay Culkin, yeah. I think that that was probably See, very thought have out. Have you got to the underwear story yet? Yeah, I got to oh, that. No, 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 look. That one if was we, really upsetting. If we, if we could screen calls, what I would like to do is I would like to try to find um, someone. And somebody attacked me. Sorry, I didn't want to cut you off. Yeah. Let me just say one last thing. Somebody, a couple people attacked me on Twitter yesterday saying, you're racist. It's because he's a black man. That has absolutely That's nothing to do That's why I asked you on it. air to try to get ahead of that because I knew people were going to say that. It has absolutely nothing to do. I was the it's biggest just, Michael, Michael Jackson, Jackson fan. This was a Michael Jackson fan. Yeah. It has nothing to do with My grandma yeah. and aunt took me to see the bad tour. I saw the man. Yeah, we when gotta be, eight, we gotta be careful. Old, we gotta be careful with that sometimes when we when we throw that out there because like this is. It You've heard matter. me say it so many times. That word is so powerful. You, you gotta be careful when you say stuff like that because there was nothing. What, in, that I'm racist? Or no? In yeah, general, so but just throwing that out there. You weren't here when we talked about this, okay. but yeah. yeah, but you can't. I mean, the thing is, too, nothing that you said yesterday about where where I saw you coming from yeah. had anything to do except the fact that I, I saw it coming from an uncle. Yeah. that was considering what God forbid anything like that happened to your nieces sure. and nephews. That's where I saw that coming from. And there was not one thing that you said inside of it. And again, I haven't seen anything mm -hmm. to, uh, to, to say whether or not I agree with your take or don't agree with your take, but nothing inside of that seemed racist. I think sometimes because someone might be either a man, a woman, uh, a black man, a black woman, uh, whoever it is, that because of whatever it might be, oh, is this because of a race thing? A lot of times it could be very true. Mm -hmm. And and if it is, you should call it out, and it should be, and it's something that is that is a big, big problem. Sure. But sometimes there's you got to be careful when you throw it away because it, it can devalue the overall how powerful uh, how powerful of a word that is. You can't you cannot you cannot just throw that around. No. You can't. Um, yeah, I I agree with that. And for me, I really uh, I think it's ignorant to say you don't see color because that's uh, a problem. Yeah. But mm -hmm. I, I had nothing absolutely to do with anybody's color in the right. dock in any way. It, it's just about racist. when you listen to these guys tell their stories, like Josh was saying, they are so similar. There's, it's there's scary specific, how similar. specific things that they would talk about what Michael would say or do or make them do that were too close. But not just that. You you just learn people when you're – especially when you're talking to people all day, interviewing right. people. There's no benefit for them. None they, at all. There's nothing. And honestly, I think that they couldn't – sleep anymore i think they yeah. couldn't like they yeah. had to get this out um unfortunately well well fortunately michael can no longer do this to anybody else if that was still going on towards the latter years again i still have an yeah. hour left but the fact um, that he's deceased it's but like, the fact you, that he's deceased yeah. my, i i i struggle with they do ask in the doc at some point like are you upset with yourself so that you didn't come forward for earlier are you upset that this was going on and you guys didn't that you actually not only didn't right. say anything to stop it, but you said that it wasn't happening and called the other boys liars. Right. Mm -hmm. And they were like, no, we're not. Um, and I'm not saying they should be because, of course, this is an incredibly hard uh, thing. But 
obviously in a perfect world, this comes out earlier and we stop him from. So then how many? How many, how many accusers? The one thing how many that, accusers were there during the trial? Uh, there was so there was one. There are two trials. There was two trials. But, so each yeah, how separate many different accusers. people besides these two guys? There's a total of what six six boys. That that's... there was seven boys in one trial, right? Yes. And then in the second trial, I believe it was only one. The one. No, no, it was one and one. They talk about it. It's just one and one. It's just various acts on the one kid, Jordy. So a total of four. And the kids. second one was this Gustav. So but what so happened? Was, what was with the seven kids that it all like with news reports? They were like, now there have been seven claims of sexual it's misconduct. Just different cl- claims of the misconduct. But on you're talking one about boy. actual trial. Act- actual children. Yeah, actual so, children. So, no, no, so se- seven people had claimed. Yeah. But there was t- two trials. No, and one no, person no, 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 no. Se- there were seven claims of sexual misconduct. Each misconduct is a claim by one person. Yeah. Yeah. So this Jordy, the okay. Jordy kid so was, was total of four kids. Of so this okay. Jordy kid, I think it, it, he was young. He was the same age, seven or eight years old, uh, as this kid Wade Robson and this and the other kid Jimmy. Um, and he, uh, that was the tour. It was the dangerous tour, I think. And and. Um, uh, Wade had begged Michael to go on tour with him. He said, I'm not going to take any kids on tour with me. And then he took this Jordy kid. Right. And then Wade saw that on TV. And yeah. Well, well did you, did you see, did you see this? Are you guys, I'm, I'm having trouble even yeah. thinking Hearing about it. watching or talking. I mean, yeah. like, and, and again, I, I dressed up, I did a lip sync to um, Billie Jean when I was in right. fifth grade. I mean, sure. I was a huge Michael Jackson. Were. Yeah. And I just, I don't know. Things like this, I always wonder, like, is this. Uh, is this entertainment? What is is it's education? I mean, I, I, I need Do you I mean why are they doing it? it? Yeah, like showing it. I mean, I think it's really important because yeah, it is. because we're idolizing some and and what you decide to do after this, if you decide to keep list, if you watch it and you make your own conclusion, that's totally up to you. But I couldn't keep living like thinking of him the way that I thought of mm-hmm. him. Because that's not right. Yeah, it's, I don't know. I mean, I, w- I, w- I, w- I guess I would say I would, I would like to if, if this is if this is true and somebody gives me the facts. I don't need to watch children talking about it. I don't need to mm-hmm. see. I, it, it that just well, they're it, 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 in it, their yeah, they're in their 30s. It'll break my heart. Or, or adults, anybody, it'll break, it'll break my facts, heart. Yeah. It just yeah. Yeah. anytime I think about you know yeah that with my children and stuff and we constantly are having conversations about it and I'm trying to you know keep you know. Well, yeah, what was really, really upsetting too, watching it, um, which I think was probably the hardest part, is that these 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 grown adults still clearly have love for him, like yeah. so much love for him, and um, are torn about even what they're doing. And it never was like he tried something on me and I w- begged him to stop and he wouldn't stop. Mm. It was never like that. It That's was the like disturbing part. It is, was yeah. like I wanted to be selected. I I knew that the, he told me this is how you love and I wanted to be his favorite and so I was begging dying to be there it's almost like whatever a he would do yeah, yeah. Kind of and so yeah. even to this day so that part was you know it's not like they're sitting here saying F the doc is not screw this guy he ruined my life he did all these things they're talking about somebody that they are still like out of admiration for yeah him. well so, listen you guys go, go well, again I mean Michael Jack was you know clearly mentally ill and had Problems as a, a child yeah, and, so we and never. Yeah, I mean, yeah. there's, yeah. there's, th- that's, yeah, that's fact, right, right listen, there. Whatever listen, his child. Go and make up your mind for yourself. Uh, the the documentary is on HBO now. It is two. It's two two hour parts. Jeez. So um, and they're both full two hours. I yeah. was saying, yeah, it's a full four. And then hour. A- Oprah does this after Neverland, which I watched, and it was very powerful. Everybody in the crowd had been uh, a victim of sexual abuse as a child, okay. and. Um, it, it was, and they were on the dais with the director of the um, of the of the documentary, and it's it's again, it's a very powerful thing. And for the, uh, there was a lot of people that have again have come out at me on Twitter like, you have to watch this, you have to watch this. They're clearly lying. You don't know. You have no idea. I, I just I have to. And Riley has seen the whole thing. It, yeah. it, it the you, ending, you, you watched you watched the whole thing. When did yeah. you watch it last, last night? night? Oh, yeah. I didn't know you watched the whole thing. So mm-hmm. Why don't you chime in? I, I'm just kind of sick of it. Uh, the, the conversation, like the attacks, the not listening to, to, to these men that came forward. You, so you so you've seen and you believe these guys. How can you fucking not? I don't it's know, I really it. hard not to. It's man. really it's hard really not really to tough. and and it's sickening and you know, I'm just in the mood why I'm not chiming in. There's yeah. a lot uh, that I could say, but it's like looking at the people that go against attack Josh because he has an opinion to attack anybody to attack these people and to use the I, well I these people <laughs> these people yeah. said uh, that he didn't do that therefore they're liars 
is one of the most shallow, closed-minded thinking I've ever heard. And they all life. come at you like, well, he did try to sue Michael Jackson post posthumously, right, for his estate, whatever. Yeah. Uh, and it didn't go through. The suit never went through because the judge threw it out because he didn't file it early enough. Statute of limitations. I, I understand that. But when you see what destruction this did to this man's family, to this man's mother and God, father, the entire and family, to both families, right? That's to where this people's man's fandom people, goes people too die. far to where they're yeah. they're they're people just die. blinders on because they're such a fan that yeah. they just can't can't deal right. with the fact that you know. I want to put my blinders on. Don't mm-hmm. get me wrong. I would like really wanted. I want my yeah. blinders on. I don't want to know what I know. Uh, Riley, I'm curious though. What is uh, not to open up, and if bad things are going on, but in the chat right now, are people uh, people watch this? Or are He's they not, not watching it? I'm not in the chat, not in the chat right now. Rob, Alex, you're in the chat, right? Uh, yes. <laughs> are, you, are you doing are you doing stupid things back there? Yeah. No, no, what, what, what's what uh, what's the chat doing? Um, there's a few people uh, saying that um, they've seen it. Uh, they ha- not not a lot of people have seen it, but they're just saying that uh, there's like Corey Feldman states that the doc is one sided. Um, <laughs> cool, thanks, and, Corey like, Feldman. There's uh, a lot of doubt yeah. about uh, about the documentary in general. It's yeah. silly, right? And, and I, I do, like I do agree that the doc is one sided. I think it, ha- it has their story. it has a perspective. Right. It is um, their story, right. and, well, look, and we're gonna that's move, the thing. We're gonna, we're gonna move on though. But to let everybody know you can watch this. It is two parts, um, two hours. So if you want to check it out, and like it's the same thing where it's a silly reference here too. But I remember when when we, when we reviewed Man of Steel, and we saw it two weeks before, and Ellis didn't like it right at the time, and people were screaming and yelling at him, yelling at him. How do you not like this movie? This is uh, if you haven't seen it. How do you know? Right. Yeah, Maybe because right. one of those things too, it's like you might feel right now that these guys are lying because of all the things that had happened in the past, and you might still feel that way, but you haven't seen a lot. Look, there's been there's been times I've had uh, an idea of one thing that I've had a conversation with someone. Well, you know, I never thought of that fact. Yeah. Like, I, I never thought of that. And that's not to say you change, but don't just say things because you want to say it. And I'm sure they're out there, but I personally have not talked to a single person yet who watched the doc, who walked away and was like, liars. Yeah. All right. Well, look. I, that, and I'm sure people right now in the chat are lighting up. They're so, I'm that, I'm that. Maybe, but. Yeah. Well, there's, look, I guarantee, I guarantee you, there, as, for as many closed-minded, dopey people who are screaming out, there are some open-minded people, though, too. So let's hope that those open-minded people go and check it out and come back yeah. and, some, and again, I want to hear perspectives from people that see it and still feel the same. The same, I do because I, I and I gladly speaking, call in. I yeah. am speaking from someone who has not seen it yet. Yeah. So I don't have. I can't. I can't say. I mean, I I listen to all three of you guys, and and it's like you know you. And I think every one of you guys went in hoping that you were going to come out going, I don't know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, correct. One hundred percent. So all right, listen. Let's move on. Riley, uh, the, our our whole story here today are the headline of our yeah. of our show <laughs> is that we have details on Christopher Nolan's latest film and then and those details are false yeah hold on real quick um, oh no what's because, happening okay so uh, they did update it so they oh. uh, the the story was updated that we we heard that it was going to be north uh, by northwest meets inception as Nolan's next movie this yes. was coming uh, what, from hold on here we go so this is an update from collider we have been informed by a trusted source that the information provided by Production Weekly is not true. We apologize for any confusion. We've chosen to leave up the story rather than delete it in order to put up, uh, to be upfront with our readers. Okay, so however, it's um, bullshit. Yeah. Uh, then Jeff Snyder. So responding to Collider's own tweet, we received an update. Jeff Snyder says, "Hold to hold your horses, folks. I don't know if he has an update. If he's digging into this now, so I just texted him. I'm, I'm okay. going to see if I get anything right, so, from him." So, well, the the report was that it was going to be a kind of a mix of what, Riley? Yeah, North by Northwest meets Inception cool. via like kind of a love story with some sci-fi elements to it. That's all we had. Um, yeah, but that was it. That was it. But now That's we got the show. But we were getting a little bit deeper. Yeah. They were they were digging in, and then apparently uh, what what they said was not correct. The, uh, I'm getting personal tweets right now of people being like, "You guys are posting fake news on top of fake news." <laughs> what? It's just oh. like, oh. all right, well, so okay, you know, just did, for that, I, let's right. talk about wrestling. Did no. somebody get hurt? Is, I, it, is somebody hurt from this situation? I wasn't say we, it's just they right. said sorry. I First of all, I didn't post shit. I wasn't going to say it. I sat right here. I didn't want to open up a can of words, but I'm just at that, in the mood where I just don't yeah. care. Let's yeah. do it. And no, listen. Can was, of words, I was, I was Christian. Just, I was just thinking about it, because I was talking to, I met, I met, met up with a lot of my friends when we went to New York 
a lot of my friends who they, they have no idea. They, they go see movies. They, they don't know what's going on in this world, yeah. right? And I thought about a conversation that if I had with them, how ridiculous it would sound. If I sat there and I said, <laughs> "Do you know that people scream and yell at each other, and how and like send like really horrible messages to each other and have wars over what's better?" DC or Marvel about yeah. how they my, hope I die, my, how yeah. they hope I get AIDS my, and die friend, because of my opinions on my, movies. If I said, if I said, you know, there are people that hang on every word, waiting to see if you like a movie because they're going to call you a shill, or shill. if you don't like it because, they, like, do you know that people do that? My friends like, get the fuck out of here! Nobody yeah. does that, you asshole. Yeah. No. And it's it's it is it's movies. This is it's movies. It's it's. This is why I'm in a it's, shitty mood today. The, but I this can't, is exactly dude, I can't, why. Yeah. I'm I can't, fucking sick I, of it. I, but I just can't believe it's, it. It's, it's, and I'm it's trying so, not to let it bother no, me. But, but this is the thing. You're upset. I'm just baffled by it. I, I'm I, baffled I, too. I'm, I'm baffled yeah, I'm, by it. It's I'm just both. Like, it's like, what? Jesus. But it's like, no, but it's just like, what? Thank what, you. Like, it's sad. It's so sad. But, but here's so the thing. Movies and television. M- movies and TV are are created. <laughs> Keep working at it. Yeah. They're created to do a couple of different things: to inform, to entertain, to right. make you laugh, to make you feel, to make you cry. Whatever and it is. If it works for you, good. If and it doesn't, it, works, it doesn't. Exactly. And what the fuck is wrong with you? And so then our jobs are to talk about which of those movies made us feel which things and which we think are worth viewing or not or whatever right. it is. And then you know what we do. We go home and we live our lives, and I'm not sitting there thinking, "Well, that mother effing made that movie. I'm gonna go get him." You just, so we just give it's it. So we weird. just get to see everything, so we're telling people what we felt but about. Can you that. imagine? Look, That's all it is. And look, the, the the thing is, there are people though too. It's like, why not? If you have that kind of passion for, like, you have that kind of drive to like sit there and make a a video about like, here's why we should boycott this movie. Enter politics, right? Like. You make whether, a change for whether the you're better. like right wing or left wing whatever you're doing <clears throat> like fight for something like what are you you going to boycott the peace corps like the whole I silly, don't know <laughs> like the whole silly thing like the whole thing that's going on with the it's like oh we got to make sure our leader does well and not Captain Marvel that's not going to do anything like it's not going to do anything no it's like there's there's nothing that you're going to do if, if you make anything, a video you're in front hurting of, people's careers no that, but it's not but you're not that's the thing they think that they are that that that, that the video if someone makes a video to their 50,000 subscribers who no. goes, guys, don't see, don't see Captain Marvel. Go see Alita. What do you think that's going to do? That movie's going to make so much money, and it's gonna, you're, you're screaming into a void. Yeah. Enjoy your life and just have just do something. Get a just, dog. You're allowed to dislike the movie. <laughs> sure. you, can dislike, you can hate Marvel. You can hate it, but don't watch it. Yeah. Just, you can hate DC. I, don't watch it. I can't get over how many death threats I get. I can't get over it. It's like, I, and honestly, I come on here all the time. I tell you guys, I degaff, like, whatever. I'm, I've got very thick skin, but like, people over my movie opinions, my opinions on movies, th- murder, rape, pillage, like, right. What the fuck is wrong with no, you? No, that shit's got to stop. What's wrong with I'm sorry, you? Sorry, but there I, are I, consequences. But it, it, there's huge it, consequences. I tweeted yeah. it out on Monday because uh, somebody like just said something. Offensive to me because I said that uh, the New York Yankees, that Alex Rodriguez wasn't the best bat on the New York Yankees when they won the World Series that year. How dare! Right? And the, the guy just said, F. Makuga for thinking that A Rod wasn't the best bat. Your opinions are fucking terrible. Fat boy, go fuck yourself. Like, I hope you fall off the top of Yankee Stadium and die. Right. So I blocked him. Yeah, that, you're right. And that had nothing to do with the fact that he just doesn't like you. He just doesn't mm-hmm. like you. It has nothing right? to do with anything. But else, that right. mean comment kind of ruined the rest of my day. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And all the positive comments, and I tweeted out, I said, like, listen, go out and keep telling people they're doing a good job. Keep telling people that you like them. Keep telling, because that matters. That matters to people, because that one negative comment, you have no idea how much that hurts somebody's feelings. Right. If you watch the show Pen15, I brought it up on here, I brought, I brought it up on TV Talk, we've talked about it. It is an absolutely fantastic show, because... It goes back to that awkward time of, of middle school and high school, and you see it all the time, of, okay, when you and your brother are making fun of each other, you have that right, right. because you're your brother, and you're your brother, well, right? Yeah. It's it's the brother. Yeah. But as soon as some a-hole bully in school starts beating you up or starts making fun of you for something and then spreads it around the school, that will ruin somebody's life. It will ruin their life forever. And they'll think about it forever, and they'll and they will constantly well, have a, a complex a about. That's a question I have. Hey, hey, angry asshole! Yeah, you, you angry asshole! The one who just did the the horrible comment like five seconds ago. Whoever you are, because you know there was one, the angriest <laughs> asshole in there. Um, why are you so angry? 
Like, yeah. no, no, I, I legit, like, legit want to know. Like, like when you write these things in here, like all the disgusting things that you wrote today, because you know who I'm talking about, one or, or 40 of you. Um, when you do that, like, I'm, I'm curious, like, is it, is it because you were, like, were you abused as a kid? I'm just curious. Were you, were you picked on? Is this your only form of communication to the outside world because you don't like to talk a lot in school? And I'm not making fun of any of these people. No. This is this is stuff that certainly. Look, yeah, I want to you know I want to finish this for a second because I'm very curious. When you do these comments, like, I, and I and I'm legit asking. I just unfortunately can't have a conversation with you. Like, just I would like to have this conversation with somebody who I knew is 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 like angry. Like, what is it though? Like, when you write these things, what what's behind it? Like, for real. And and try and if you can, like, try to try to respond to that comment that the question. With a well, here's why I usually do this because I think this. I would love to see that, but there'll be insults and there'll be curses and everything's like that. And if you can get past that, great. If you can't, I legit would like to know like what is what what happened because like and I've said it a million times. You don't know what's going on in people's lives. You just don't. It's not an excuse, but you don't know why people are doing it. So, I, I sorry. Go ahead. Uh, uh, I just don't like it because. Like, yeah. na you name it, all the things you named. Hello. I know. Hello. So, I, but I'm not doing that stuff. And so I think that it's not, if you're saying, why are you so angry, then fine. Or mean. Or mean, yeah. fine. And then you can comment about your hard life and what's happened to you. And it's not that I don't feel bad. And Alex, look at some of the responses. I will, I'm curious. I will feel bad, but also you still get to wake up and choose to be better. Every day, mm -hmm. and I I don't understand the correlation of why we get to say this person ha had a hard life. They get a pass at being a oh, dick, no, no. and I'm not saying you're yeah, saying yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But if you can admit out loud, I'm angry because I was abused, and that's why I'm telling you that I hope you die over your movie opinion. There actually isn't correlation no. between those things. That doesn't mean that's not transitive property. It's not A equals B equals C. So if you are thinking that and you are smart enough to admit out loud, that is why you're angry. Because by the way, I'm talking to my past self who was angry and who was a dick and who did say things like, "Well, this is what happened to me, so fuck you guys." Right. Try and stop that cycle because it doesn't have to be like that. And you can just not be a jerk. Sure. You could just yeah. not be a jerk. What's yeah. confusing to me, though, is that when I was lashing out, I was lashing out against people who you in person personally attacked me. My anger was not directed towards other people. It was towards that person. You're saying we did it on Schmoes? Yeah, yeah. 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 Early on um, in No, I'm just saying when I was a kid. Oh, when you were a kid. Yeah, when I was a kid. You know, like, so I wasn't going, I didn't, oh, I know and I think it's this, it is this world. It's this world of attention, of, of likes, of, of pokes and whatever. I mean, like, if you say something shitty, like, you know, Roxy, go to hell, I'm gonna kill you. That guy got a lot of attention for that, you know? So it's, it's the world that this has been that's been created not forgivable at all right. but it, we, we, we everything culture. everything is so fucking polarized we don't we don't get in physical fights with each other you know you, when, when I was a kid I, somebody didn't like me he punched me in the fucking face and I bled and I cried with my mom and that was it that's the I was doing I would, ra I would rather that though. exactly yeah. I'd rather exactly. punch in the face all day that old and age, that old <laughs> adage sorry of like sticks and stones <laughs> may break my bones but words will never hurt me is the exact opposite yeah, yeah. I words agree. stick with yeah. you forever well, like, I don't think it does I don't I'm, think they I'm, think it does. I'm, I'm I think very, they I'm think it's just curious. funny, or Alec, you know. Alex, was there anything in there, like from from the question I asked? Was there, you know, obviously a bunch of just nonsense and, and jumbled bullshit? But any, anything that actually stood out? Yeah, I don't think there's a lot of people actually answering your question, but just other people explaining, like, uh, like yeah, it could just be people wanting attention. It's yeah. just a sign but of you weakness. Know what? Hurt people, hurt people. That's what I mean. What else gets attention is kindness yeah. I, I'm, I'm not saying it's the same kind of attention and I totally agree with you Brett but like y you know I think people when they post like down at a skid row giving clothes to people whatever that gets as many likes as yeah. go F your mother oh, like, sure, sure, sure. so if you, you want attention I understand wanting attention by the way look at the career path I chose I'm, I want attention right. clearly I'm sitting I here know, on the no mic I have no idea what you're talking about <laughs> we, every, if you're in this room right. you're at least willing to get Follow the attention me on Instagram. so I, under, I understand <laughs> that I get Seattle wanting that still available. but if you don't know that if you don't know that positive things actually get good attention this is me telling you that they do. Yeah, it's just. It's I what, would well, say they get less. 
I would nah. say that. I, no, I'd nah. say the news. Hey, I don't look think at the so. news. Are the positive stories it, we, we fo- threw? They, is well, it well, always we focus on it? But no, the there, news. There, there, may, if you look you at know. like the, there's videos. Look for for example, and this is the, the lighter side of things. I saw. I saw, there was a dog that was um, calling out because it's because it's puppy. There's like Brazil or somewhere, right? And its puppy was was hurt. Like I don't know what happened to it, but it was, it couldn't move, and the and the mother was screaming out like. And these people came in, and they were very gentle. They, they, they moved in, and they, they were, like, massaging the dog. They, then they took the dog away from the mother. The mother trusted it to happen. And then, I think, like, a couple of weeks, and they came back, and they healed up the dog, and they had thousands upon thousands upon thousands of oh, likes man. and shares. And there are... Look, this is the thing that there is, and I said this before, and I say it every every fucking day. For as many shitheads that are there, are, the good people are on the internet. There are a lot of good people. I'm not saying there are. I'm not saying there are. How often are things. we having conversations about good things happening? True. We're well, having no, no, this no, conversation know. more I know, than the other ones. No, I know. That's right? true. I, know, yeah. I mean, no, I don't agree with that. Okay. Well, no. I, 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 I think we're talking about creation a lot more. I think we're talking about creating movies and news but and on, things But he's talking about social media in general. The what the what makes the most impact. Is the awful feeling that you get from what what people can do, and whether it's and that's why social media bullying is such a big thing too. But like I said, there are things that I think that, and I've gotten this message before too, and I got it recently, and it was a it was a it was to my Facebook uh, the fan page, and mm-hmm. someone wrote, "Hey, look, uh, I handle things very poorly. I was I was angry, uh, and I tweeted out at you guys, and I was I was upset, and it was it was me." And there were things that, I, and I, and I completely, and I, and I apologize. I'm a different person now, and I don't need uh, you to say thank you or, 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 or need you to forgive me. But I just wanted to get off my chest. And I unblocked the guy, and I, mm-hmm. and I said, "We're human. I get it. And it's not again. It's not an excuse. But when you can, there are, and again, there is some kid, man, woman, someone out there watching right now who just tweeted or wrote something to us, very awful." And they don't. They, they they're doing one. They just have hate in them, right? There's other people that are doing it because they're angry. There are other people, and again, I everything that you said, I agree with. One hundred percent. That that the, it's not saying that they should have done it, but they did it. Oh, I know. And inside of that, I guarantee that one of those people would, if they examine themselves outside, say, well, "Why did I do that? Like, why did I just write that as opposed to, hey, my I have difference of opinion." I just wonder it's if, a different if it can opinion? change. Yeah, it is a difference of opinion. I want. I wonder if it can be changed. But like there are, a lot, but there are other people sometimes. Like when you go back and forth with someone on Twitter and you have a conversation with them, there are some you can tell. There are some people who are willing to have a conversation. I've had there was there was a certain conversation I had with a guy not too long ago, that he had said something about the Shmona and I just I blocked him right away because I got pissed off. Right mm-hmm. then. And I saw you, and then he made a couple of videos like mocking the schmo down. And I said, "Look, this guy used to be a fan." So then I yeah. reached out to the guy, and I said, and then we had a conversation, like a legit conversation. You can feel somebody out when you're talking to somebody if they just want to be a dick, or they would say, "No, let's talk." This guy was like, "Let's talk." We figured out he came to the New York event, mm-hmm. and he was there at the New York event, and he and we and we shook hands, and I and I laughed, and I looked at him, we said truce, and we had and we and we laughed. It happens. It's part of it because it's also another thing too. Whether it's us or whoever you're watching, it doesn't seem human to you because it seems like they seem like we seem like characters to people on on a show. So when they're like, like, oh, I can write whatever I want. They'll never like, I'll never meet this person. But it's the same person that comes up to you at, at, when they do see yeah. you. I'm a fan. They go, shit, maybe I shouldn't have wrote that. Sometimes in back-to-back messages, I have this one guy who's been DMing me on Facebook for years. Like, you're a psycho piece of shit. I can't fucking believe that you Bless said that. Blah, blah. And then the next one's like, hey, it's my birthday next week. Can you give me a shout-out on air? <laughs> in this back-to-back I messages. I have a funny feeling I know who that is. And <laughs> I'm looking at it, and I'm like, sorry, Roxanne. Yeah. what? Yeah. Like, no. I, no. Right. I, um, I, on the flip side of this, right? All the people that do awesome things for us on this show, like yeah. Thrawn and uh, David. Who, what's the guy's name? David, David B. B. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The guy. The people that do that get so much more attention. Yeah, we on this show we talk about David B. and Thrawn all the time. Than some troll that just screams at us. That's so what I'm saying. You, create. You create. Yeah. Do something yeah. awesome. Become be, a part of. Yeah. Like a part. I may have said it in the wrong context, and we were all yelling at each other. But be better. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, just be but better. Yet, but yeah. But again, that was and that was the point to where when I was looking at. Now this is go, going back exactly the same conversation that you and I had before we started this show. Before the show. And it's the same thing. Like I said, I'm not telling anybody inside of that Facebook group that they need to be wrestling fans. But don't like. Well, don't make. Don't don't. Hit your chest and go. Well, great. You keep talking about it. I'm not going to watch it. Well, good. 
get wow. out. I would say six of my best friends in this world live for wrestling. But, but yeah, but I mean that. But the wrestling conversation aside, what I what I mean is, don't just be a dick. Like you can do. Like there's there's a ways to like you can say, okay, well look, they, I'm glad that they had mentioned that because the time goes, wrestling's not for me, so I'll probably move on. You see that, and you go, well, that's respectful. Great. And, and this is this is this is a lighter this is a lighter conversation as opposed to stuff that you're talking about. But yeah. I'm just saying, people, you either want to try to change yourself or you don't. But anyway, um, well, and I, I just want to just say what I was trying to say. I'm not saying I think it's a good thing that we polarize the no, bad things, but not. I guarantee if you go back to all the shows, we've talked about people saying shitty things more than we have about the good things that have been, because I they are polarized, so. and then, it, I, I, uh, then I'm going to, difference of opinion. Fine. I think we give these people, we, we, we post, when kids go shoot up schools, that oh, new you're not story... Talking about, you're not talking about us specifically. Oh, no, us culture. or anybody. Us, us too. I, well, I think I it, we were playing people, a lot of songs. I and, and, okay, about but us. people yeah. shoot up schools or something like that. That's that's on the news forever. The one kid that does a nice thing, it's like, oh, right. you know, faith and humanity restored for 30 seconds, and then we're on to the right, next shitty thing that happened. No, I, you know, there's, that is, that's an issue. It's, it's a polarization the, of the shitty stuff. You're, I understand you, where you're going with that, and I think that, like, yeah, and that when you turn on, like, the, the <clears throat> nightly news, my wife only watches it for the weather, for some, for some God awful reason, she still doesn't check her phone to just yeah. say, "What's the weather like in nine zero? Uh, you know, what, yeah. what, tell just you, it gives you it to you hour out. by hour. Yeah. She loves the, she loves watching Dallas the weather Haynes. on the, you know, whoever, whoever it is, right? But so, but we have got to sit through murder yes. for twenty minutes. Yeah. That's all it is. A guy was was walking his dog in the park and his head blew up. Yeah. It's yeah. like it's like everything. It's like. Uh, six squirrels murdered a guy. Murdered a guy. <laughs> Let's stop. Yeah, stop. Yeah. Uh, we, I, because it's 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 Nightcrawler. Or it's is, night, exactly. It's it's, it's, is no, your favorite restaurant important. covered in Nicola? No, it's, but it's, it's, imp it's important to know what's happening in the world, though. That's talking about burying your head in the sand. When, no, I, when no, no, I was no. a, when it's I, not let me, important. Let me explain to, what I'm going to say okay, first. Yeah. When, when Brett was talking about us, um, about people talking about positive things less often than negative things, I thought he was referring to the show. I don't think we do this yeah. on this show, is when I said no. When you're talking about the world, I think that it's important that positive things get shown more often, yes. and I don't think they're shown enough. But I don't think that means that we can't talk about all the murder no, that's no, no, going no, no. on you should, because you should, we should. You should. But I'm, what, I, what I'm saying is, when you watch the nightly news, every story, every story, that is, should be the blip. It, there needs, there needs to be, there needs to be a mix. No, look, she's there's right this where you should, you should also Good shine mix. a light. It shouldn't be ninety no, ten. You no. should shine a light. You should five. shine a light and say, look, this happened. This poor family. This. You should shine a light on that stuff. But it's also, but it, it's all about. Because it's those stories that people like tune in, and it's just like your, your eyes are all, are open, and you're like, oh, it's Nightcrawler. It is Nightcrawler. It's that's what does the and ratings. particularly the shooting thing. They they they've proven that that's why you know that there that is a thing. That's a stardom thing. These kids are thinking, if I do this, I'm gonna be famous. You know, I'm gonna be famous for doing this horrible thing. Well, and I'm, that's big because that's played all the time, and right, not and right. then you get an occasional one of the basketball player that you know helps the kid in school or whatever. I'm a fan of of not. Not, and especially being from Boston, obviously the Rolling Stone cover with the Boston bomber on it crushed everybody I right, knew. Right. But I'm I'm a fan of not giving these people platforms, not saying their names, not showing their yeah. pictures. Yeah. But I do think that the victims I think they deserve to be sure, shown. Sure, exactly. Sure. Oh, not, yeah. I didn't wasn't. I'm saying the, don't show me this kid's face ever right. again. Yeah. I don't want to. I want to. They shouldn't even bring up who. Like, look, uh, authorities know no, who he is. You are nobody yeah. now. Yeah. These yeah. people that you Great. hurt are the Great people. Yeah. And that's that's what I'm. Authorities talking. know who who it is. They've been. And, yeah. and that's yeah. and that's I don't, it. I don't want they their know names why, out they know there. They know why they they know why they did it, and they're they're handling it. It's yeah. Like, Great. Um, anyway, uh, look like like I said, this show. So can that go Christopher anywhere. Nolan movie, huh? <laughs> yeah, oh, no, you it, piece of shit! I don't, I don't even know. We can't, let's, let's, I had such a good joke lined up for. Yeah, yeah never mind. Oh, I've had a lot of. Do you want to still try it or no? Oh, wait, you know what? I do want to talk about yeah. that. I, mean, I guess we can ask Ethan about this next time we see Ethan. But yeah, but Sherlock Holmes three pushed back to twenty twenty one. Any yeah. reason why? They, they say no reason. Yeah, okay. Deadline reports that they're Not moving it back and they're putting in a pretty crowded slot for next Christmas or twenty twenty one. Well, whoever made that decision should get cancer. We could ask Ethan. I wonder if they just needed some more time on the on work script. Yeah. What what have you? Sorry, I just don't know well enough why ask Ethan. Because he's he because he's producer of the movie. Yeah. And he and he's he's co writer of the second one and most likely gonna write this one. Wow. Yeah. He, he would know. He produced the big he, deal, man. He produced uh, wow. 
the nice guys. He produced. I mean, he's like a. Wow. There's a reason his nickname wow. is Big Time. Yeah, he's yeah. Bring up his credits. I mean, look at look at all. His oh, I know you guys talk about it. I yeah. didn't know specifically this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, Ethan Irwin, former movie trivia of the world, champion of the world. He uh, produced. He zoom in a little bit, please. Oh well, the rub and tug's not going to happen anymore. That was the Scarlett Johansson. Superfly, Superfly, the nice Superfly, guys. Suburbicon, Clyde, the nice guys, the gunman, Sherlock, Sherlock Holmes. Holmes, Game of Shadows, Book of Eli, Whiteout, Orphan. Um, yeah, so he's uh, he's been in writer. That's right, he wrote on Moonlight. I remember that. But you said he's probably going to write this one. I'm. Oh, nice. Look at that. There you go. Nah. Here's I the real that. story. Yeah. What the real. Sure. I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, look, uh, I do want I want to move on though too because another, another thing I wanted to bring up was the thing that I do like. Bring up uh, Carrie Coon for a second, please. Oh, she's one of my favorite actresses of all time. The, ba- the leftovers is just she's yeah. yeah. You see yeah. what I see? Yeah, yeah. I, I I like her. Um, she and both Finn Wolfhard, who's all, again talking about Shmona, mm-hmm. also played in Shmona. Yeah. Um, he he. The two of them are going are in talks. Are in talks yeah, they're in to, talks to be in the Ghostbusters sequel. Now, what would Carrie Coon play? Uh, right now, it's reported that Carrie Coon will play the mother to Finn Wolfhard's, okay. uh, Wolfhard's character. Finn Wolfhard as a Ghostbuster is pretty, pretty awesome. It's pretty cool. He's already dressed like it. Yeah, he's done it. He did it in Stranger, Stranger Things. Things. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, any of you guys see as he gets the fuck across town? Uh, no. No, <laughs> I know. I, I interviewed <laughs> Haley Joel Austin about it's, it. But I it's want great. everybody to see really it. Good. I need people to watch this Where, movie. Can I find it somewhere? I don't yeah, know it's now. Online. It's I mean, online. Probably on Okay. Yeah, yeah. Amazon. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway, I think that's good casting. We'll see. It's great casting. Else. You got to be careful though. Don't don't just hire everybody from uh, Stranger Things and it. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Right. That does seem to be what's happening yeah. here. Yeah. Finn, They're Finn, like, oh, it worked in it. But is Finn Wolfhard a Ghostbuster? Or is he like the kid that gets possessed? He'll like in Vigo. Yeah, I think he's gonna be Ghostbuster. How old like, is he now? The kids. He's probably. Is he a teen? I would guess that he's thirteen now. Fourteen. Uh, 14. Nine. No, he's not nine. I guess he's fourteen. How old is he? Sixteen. He's 16 yeah, years he old, is. and he'll be, yeah. So oh, and by the by, I looked up, um, uh, what's her name? Um, Kate Beckinsale? 45. She's 45. Yeah. Jeez, and, that's and, old. Which is and what's similar to uh, Olivia Coleman, Coleman, who is not the same age right. as Glenn Close. <laughs> Forty five. And what's and what's Pete uh, and what's Pete Davis? Pete Davis, I bet she's twenty six. No, nah, I, I think, think he's, he's like twenty. I do think he's twenty six. I think How he's a year that? younger than me. Where is he? Twenty five. Oh my goodness. Crazy. He's what? He's 20 years younger than her. Good oh for you, God. buddy. <laughs> Good job. Good. Slow clap. Good, for, Good you. for you. Good for you. All right. Well, I mean, look, how do I... I guess we can't ask him that when he comes in, but whatever. Why not? Let's bring I guess it up. We, I guess we it, should. Are you hung? No, not that. No. Oh, but it's, you know, like the thing, I don't know. It's just like you, sometimes sometimes that you, when they come in, they go, they, they don't want... And I don't normally... We've never been the the relationship... No, but that's oh, I leaned into it with a uh, uh, different, yeah, different. You know? So five he was wives, and then you figured he'd come <laughs> back, like, right? Like it's what? funny because when Joe Manganiello, the first time we had him in, yeah. the first thing the publicist says is right when him and Sofia Vergara started dating. Like, don't ask about Sofia. I was like, yeah. ah, I wasn't planning on it. Yeah. And then because he's been married for a little bit, yeah. I was like, is there anything you don't want to talk about? He's like, oh, I don't want to talk about my 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 marriage or my relationship. I go, really? He's like, no, of course not. I've been married to her for years. So like, okay, fine. So yeah. Yeah. what is Kate Beckinsale working on these days? She's on some evolution of. Uh, wasn't she uh, Underworld? Underworld? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. What's, what's I have it? no Serendipity so, 2. Bring up IMDb. Still serendipitous. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Serendipity. Now, the oh, the widow. I, I watched Total the pilot recall. last night. Good? It's great. Okay. It's really, well, it's, it's a good. You so watched how did the you not pilot know? to her show last she night. She said, yes. what is he working And I just on? asked what so she was. I totally forgot. That's fair. Eminem. You have no idea what is in my brain after the Michael Jackson thing. Like Amanda, let's cleanse the pilot and watch I would not want to be in that. That head right now. No, I, I can't I get imagine it. what's going on. I there. get it. Just like, I, it. but it's uh, very funny that you, sh- you literally watched her pilot last night. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, about yeah it. I totally forgot. Okay, good for you. Yeah. All right, let's. Uh, I want to go to the phone lines. This should be interesting. Let's go to uh, bring on the phone lines for sure. <laughs> and then uh, what's ha- you working on? I got nothing. Yeah. Oh, all right. Hashtag Glider Live as well. Riley, anything on the, on the hashtags? Well, I'm looking right now. Just a lot of people have been really um, kind of supportive of that conversation good. we had. Uh, oh, under, understanding. I do um, want to bring us. Oh, sorry, yes. sorry, I want to bring the shout out to this is so, Green, cool. so Green Lantern. What? A, oh yeah, I saw this. Yeah, which, yeah. So what? What uh, issue is this? This is the most recent one. So this is Green. This is Green, Green Lantern South, number five. five. Green Lantern number five. There is a there is a a big John Schnepp. Uh, tribute. If you look, it's funny because you could people didn't didn't. So I saw it in the took me a minute. I saw it yeah. in the square when it was posted because I was looking on like the, the little. In, it yeah. was all in the square you and see he it, wasn't right, even right? in it. Yeah, yeah no, okay. I saw it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's, uh, it's effing gorgeous. It's and absolutely awesome. amazing. It's really cool. 
It's really cool. I mean, uh, immortalized. And, he uh, doesn't. He he's not really. Is he talking about John Schnepp in that thing? No. No. I mean, it's no, just no, like it's him, you see him in the back. I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm just. Um, yeah. Yeah. Something like he's in a tomb or something. You know, okay. finding something. Yeah. There's there's just a very subtle. It's very I subtle. Love I love it. it. It's really cool. Yeah. It's really and you can see that. I mean, they posted it in the Collider Live. Uh, I, I got to tell you, man. I know this is like totally flipping whatever, but. Sometimes death just it hits you in weird ways. You yeah. know what I mean? I still don't think he's gone. I, like, I still think he's just going to come in and be like, oh, McCook's. You right. know, and he brings yeah. in the, the, the cinnamon toast bagels from Panera and he's leaves just here. His, leaves his coffee cup yeah. over there. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. like yeah. when you turn 45 and the next day Luke Perry dies at 52 and then you start to freak out. And that, that, no, that's one that got me again. Yeah, yeah, man. Mm-hmm. It's just this, this year. I mean, it's like Schnepp and, well, and, and, and Luke Perry. Because the Luke Perry thing, my, my, when I told my wife, when I texted her, as a Luke Perry mm-hmm. does, she's like, oh, was it drugs? And it's like, no. no. Yeah. I just had a stroke. Yeah. Did you hear the story that Colin Hanks shared the most wonderful story about him? That they're on a plane and there was two little kids and they were like losing their mind on a plane like kids just want to do. All of a sudden, a guy in a hat and like sunglasses like runs back and has like balloon animals and gives it to him. And they, everybody claps and they're like, "Look at this hero!" Colin Hanks is like, "What a great idea!" Goes out, it's Luke Perry, and Luke Perry goes, "I carry balloons with me on planes for that reason." <laughs> That's awesome. And it's That's just crazy. like, what? You're a good guy. Yeah, yeah, he was a good guy. He was a really good guy. Anyway, I, let's, let's. I love that story, but I will say, probably not a great idea for anybody listening to this because if the balloon pops on the plane, that oh, sends yeah. mass panic. Yeah. Sure. And as a girl who does balloon animals, which I've been doing forever, <laughs> oh, of course. Just, yeah. uh, no, I, I love doing balloon animals, but no matter yeah. how good you are, sometimes no, they no, pop. No, no, and no, I see what you're saying. Yeah. You're on the plane. Yeah. No, you're right. He must be better than I was. Way to to bring it down to reality. I'm just saying, I I feel like we're starting a mask. It was a nice story. I'm the guy that runs up. I'm like, hey, I crushed up 10 Xanax in this orange juice. You're welcome. Uh, Cody, Cody, you got any calls? (laughs) Okay, good. Hey, you're in Collider Live. Who do we got? (laughs) What is that? Hey, this is Tram calling you guys back. What's up, man? How are you doing? What's going on? What do you got? Great. Hey, Makuga, I wanted to tell you something, too. Uh, Do you know why I'm called Chance? Uh, Because your mama took one. That's absolutely right. (laughs) (laughs) So what's up? What do you got for us today? Sorry, sorry. Uh, you guys burned me on that that last time. I'm sorry. It's perfect. It's perfect. All right. Hey, guys. uh, I called you guys last time. I told you about uh, that spec script I was writing on Friday the 13th. Yep. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you guys remember that or not, but mm-hmm. I got my second draft done on that. So, nice. Good for you. Uh, Congrats, that is moving man. right Keep along. Cool. Now, I wanted to ask you guys, because I know you, Christian, and you, uh, Riley, you've been talking with, you know, the Masters of the Universe and all that. I'm a guy. I live in the Midwest. I'm as far away from you guys as I can possibly be. How do I get eyes on this script? Who do I got to, you know, uh, as Kevin Smith would say, who's duck, uh, dick do I got to suck to get this, you know, <laughs> thing going here? Well, look, it, that's the magic. That's the magic question, man. I mean, look, yeah. the 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 way it comes down to what I would suggest, what I, what I would always suggest to people is, you need to look for literary managers, um, look for lit managers, look for all the companies, look them up, and say, hey. I have a script. Would you take a look? Because production companies, uh, they're not going to read your script because they it's need un- an agent. Yeah, it's unsolicited. And that way, right, if you solic- right. if you send it out to them and then they read it and then you could sue them and say, oh, wait a minute, that's that's my idea. So what you should do is find yourself, and that, that's that's the if you have a really good script and you can get yourself to you got to sell yourself to the to and the manager. I think he, no, I think it, what he's asking is he wants to see your script from Masters. No, 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 no. He's how to get a script. He's, 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 oh, the other thing yeah. that you have to know. Is that if you're going after lit managers, they're going to ask you for five more pieces of writing. Yeah. Sometimes, so. some yes. Right, sometimes right. yes, you're right. But sometimes you, if you have an overall spec script, depending on what script it is, and it's good I enough, got a lit manager with it. one script, but I, anyway, right. it was but, like but what they, really? but I've what never they could had do. Not ask me I have more. 15 lit managers. Yeah. So. But, what, but Roxy's <laughs> right, and what, what they probably would do is there's two things. One, they read your script. They go, oh, it's not so bad. What else you got? Yeah. That, yeah, that's possible. Or if it's amazing, they go, hey. This is really great. Send me something else because I want to see what what, what else you got. Yeah. So Just listen, and also a big thing that people I think uh, forget about: uh, send in your scripts to a lot of script writing contests. Yeah. They're all out mm-hmm. there. I've had a lot of success right. off of. We won yeah. one, and then all of a sudden a manager called us, and all of a sudden an agent called us. If you can get in place and something, you don't have to win the thing, but if you get like semifinals, quarterfinals. That list is then released, and some agents want to see this stuff. Yeah. So All right. just submit. Well, well thank yes. you for the call, Chance. Appreciate All it. Right. And we want to thank your mama uh, for taking thing, it. Riley, if I can, if I can throw one chance. thing at Riley's direction, because mm. I know you were curious about the script last time. 
In yeah. this script, how would you like to see both Tommy and Trish Jarvis reunited? Well, let's get back. We'll get back to that. We'll yeah. get back to that ne- uh, next time you call in, Chance. We only have a couple minutes here left. So That's thank great. thank you for the Thanks, call. Um, look, this was a this was a good show. A lot of stuff that we talked about. We got into the depths of uh, of it all. So um, there were some fun moments. There were some serious moments. And I really appreciate it. Look, uh, the, the main thing to take away from this is that there are still tickets available for September for the Seattle show. <laughs> so uh, make sure that's you... The, that's hey, the March, 14, yeah. March 14th. Uh, Columbia yeah. City Theater, Seattle, Washington. Shows at 9 p.m. <laughs> Mark Ellis headlining. Ken Knapps, I'm myself hosting. March 14th at Emerald City Comic yep. Con. That whole weekend. So come out and have some laughs with us. And then drinks too. Yes, and make sure, once again, March 23rd is the free-for-all. Uh, come out and go s- and see all of us. If you want to check out Roxy's team, Odd Couple going up against Riley and Bateman with Dagnino managing Can I April come? 13th, April 13th in Chicago and then May 18th in Houston. Subscribe to everything we got going on, especially Collider, uh, the YouTube channel. Go to Collider Live on Apple Podcasts. Leave a comment there. Very, very helpful. And the same thing, too. Please go over and check out the Movie Trivia Showdown on audio because that is a, another way for us to keep building the audience. Check out Brett Sheridan, Mark Riley, Roxy Stryer, Josh McCuga, the whole damn crew, the Wangers. Do it. And let the English see you do it. Braveheart, 1995. <laughs>